What's up, folks? Welcome back to the stream. We're live with the T5S2 Pod 26 Finals. This should be the penultimate finals game for T5S2 Season 7 and capstoning ninth edition play for competitive T5 this uh, competitive T5S2 season. Thanks everyone for joining. We are live over here with a very spicy matchup. As we see this freaking thing drop down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dr. Dudes, get your draws, get your yaws in there. Get your, uh, uh, you know, bolt guns ready. Because, uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty spicy. We've got an Astraeus Super Heavy on the field over here in the red for Indicius Magpie playing Classic Iron Hands. We're not going to see comments in the VOD today yeah. of people uh, complaining, oh, you said it was Iron Hands and it ended up being actually Red Scorpions with a black paid job. It, this time it's actually Iron Hands with an Astraeus, with a six plus field paid, double wounds for bracketing. Uh, this list is cool as hell. The Astraeus Iron Hands list are always one um, that warm the cockles of my heart. I, I appreciate them greatly because I actually played a similar list of this when the edition first launched and the Space Marine Codex first came out. Uh, and this one is is a, a favorite of mine. So excited to see it on the table from Odysseus Magpie over here. <laughs> Tear into the Sentinels? Well, maybe. We'll see. The Sentinels are highly resilient against the Astraeus firepower. We'll see how it goes. Speaking of the Astraeus, by the way, we do have 10th edition points values for all these Forge World units coming out today. Uh, no data sheets yet, though. Kind of feels like we were supposed to get the data sheets, but maybe tomorrow we'll get data sheets. That would be nice. I have something to talk about. Uh, versus over here in the blue side, a now stream regular, Mr. Commander Chacha, playing Astra Militarum. And uh, I think these players have resigned themselves to seeing who goes first and then blowing themselves out, each other off the table. Although, to be fair, it is important to note, we are on abandoned sanctuaries today, chat. So we have five objectives on the map. The uh, No Man's Land is a scrambled area. You cannot, on the first battle round, set up reinforcements, infiltrators, or scout moves in that area. They can drop into deployment zones, but they cannot go into the center of the battlefield. So we won't see a turn one Barbican's Key. We won't see a turn one Dev Devastator Drop Pod. Um, it's largely going to be... Uh, just a shooting match between these two armies in the first turn. No, none of this uh, redeploy movement shenanigans. And fortunately uh, for um, Indicius, he does have infiltrators, which are actually going to be able to screen out a large portion of his deployment zone. So he's not going to get Barbican's keyed, hopefully, assuming he sets up correctly, uh, in his deployment zone in the first turn, which is one thing that you, that you, you do have to worry about. That is, is one thing that can happen is uh, you have to worry a little bit about the Barbican's keep dropping at the core of your deployment zone, getting line of sight behind your... Um, uh, area terrain, your your line of sight blockers. Anyway, let's talk about some lists, chat. And before we do that, let's actually get a prediction in here. Let's go. Who's going to win? Uh, the Lehman Rosses or the Astraeus? Boom. Get your channel points in, everybody. Uh, exclamation point lists in chat if you want to follow along uh, the squad that does teleport right behind uh we have over here on commander shacha's side relatively standard build coming out of astra militarum uh we are running born soldiers today so the uh we, we should call it uh lethal hits now right six to hit automatically wound so call it it's a lethal hits according to 10th edition perfect <laughs> we now have a good a good core keyword to to assign to that ability uh it's a big Cadian command squad an ogren bodyguard in that one, Finial of the Number Dash first, so we're ignoring this poor, <laughs> that poor, uh, this this poor um, uh, Iron Hansel is bringing minus one damage with the Iron Stone and a six plus damage ignore roll. Now called a feel no pain, by the way, chat. Um, and uh, unfortunately, not going to be useful against the Finial, but it will be still uh, knock down at least the guns on the Lehman Russ. Although the Scout Sentinels unfortunately benefit from it, which is a little bit of mushes. Uh, we do have an Astropath in that unit, a Death Corps Marshal, Lord Solar Leontis himself, as well as a Tank Commander with uh, Meticulous Calibrator, so ignores cover. 
Pretty useful in this edition, much more useful next edition. If <laughs> you can get a no recover ability at a tank commander, just slap that one on there. Uh, although that has gone the way of the dodo, as well as the uh, gatekeeper, the three damage relic battle cannon. We have uh, one, two, three, four units of Cadian shock troops, two units of Kazrakan. One has brutal strength, so it's able to move and shoot heavy weapons without penalty. Uh, so you can use first rank fire, second rank fire on the, its weapons to make them heavy three. So they fire three shots out to maximum range, and then you can um, uh, use the uh, Barbican's key to jump them around, and uh, they will not suffer that penalty to shoot their guns. We also have a second Kazakit squad with heirloom weapons. Those guys get additional range. Three units of uh, ar uh, three units of sentinels, excuse me. One unit of scouts. Two units of armored. Uh, Militar and plasma cannons on all of them, plus hunter killer missiles on several of the armored sentinels and chainsaws all around. A big Earthshaker carriage battery. Three Earthshaker carriages. Look at these little baby boys right here. We got their carriage crew hiding in the back here. Uh, and as a reminder, just because of the artillery and crew rule, which has not seen a replacement in 10th edition, I, we actually don't even know how it works. It's supposed to work. <laughs> Uh, these crew can be moved across because they're not they're discounted for measurement, but they are relevant for blocking line of sight, which is the reason that the crew members are here. However, any distances, including the engagement range of the Oshika carriage and uh, your ability to move across it, yeah, it is only relevant to the actual Oshika carriage itself, which is the ruling that we've made to uh, alleviate the toxicity of the. Um, of the uh, artillery and crew roll a little bit. Look at this tiny psyker. Um, Why is it so small? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Isaac, why is your psyker a baby? <laughs> it's so tiny. I know, because it is small. They're on the wrong base size. They're on the wrong base size. Amazing. Uh, yeah. They're like, because they're not, they don't, you don't buy them as command squads. So they, oh, they yeah, because like that's an Astro, that's a primary Psyker model, but it's repurposing an yeah. Astropath. Yes. I understand. Yes. I understand. There's no, like, <laughs> it looks a lot better than, like, it looks a lot better than, like, the Battle Scribe. I think it was, uh, Battle Fords. It was, uh, Battle like a, a, maybe a premature birth. All the, all the, you know, nutrients went to its head, didn't really grow very big at all. It's small, very small. You guys start your clock seal. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, we're good. Okay. Um, uh, last but certainly not least, there's two Lumen Rust battle tanks in this thing. Um, uh, <laughs> um, um, jump off that Eric, tangent real quick. It's, <laughs> it's a very tiny astropath. Adorable. Ador absolutely adorable. You know, she's, uh, she's small, but she's fierce, all right? <laughs> Look at that face. A face only a mother could love. A Sicarian? Uh, no, no Sicarians today, Chet. Uh, this is an Astraeus Super Heavy. This has not been legended in 10th edition. Um, the Sicarians have been, to my knowledge, which is sad because the Sicarian profile is always really cool. But the Astraeus Super Heavy is a 40k tank. It is, in, in fact, a Primaris Astraeus Super Heavy battle tank. Uh, so it is very much a... Uh, invention of the 41st millennium, not a 30k model that's going to get legended. Um, yeah, these things are these things are nuts. So let's talk about Indicius list list, and we'll talk about the absolute insanity that is the Astraeus Super Heavy. Um, so we, like I said before, we are running pure and true Iron Hands, uh, starting with a Primaris Librarian, Blessing of the Machine God, and Psy Steel Armor on this gentleman. So he's going to be able to give plus one armor to a unit, and the Astraeus already has a two plus armor save. Uh, so it is able to jump down to a one plus, plus it has void shielding on it as well. A Blessing of the Machine God can be uh, assigned to the Astraeus to give it plus one to hit. However, downside there is that uh, it does increase its warp charge value if you target a super heavy with it. So generally speaking, I think we're going to be casting that one on the Relic Contemptor Dreadnought to give it that plus one to hit without the need of the Tech Marine. The Tech Marine is going to be babysitting the Astraeus and giving that the bonus and healing it. Uh, the Tech Marine then has the Iron Stone, so it's going to uh, reduce damage targeting the Astraeus by one every turn. Uh, chosen at the start of the battle round, as long as he stays within three inches of it, I believe. And then we have an Infiltrator Squad. 
Uh, two infiltrator squads, excuse me, with Helix Gauntlets. Uh, a Relic Contemptor Dreadnought with all the fixins. If you haven't seen this guy before, he's absolutely ludicrous. He's upgraded to a character with March of the Ancients so that he can take a Warlord trait, which, that being Merciless Logic. So he gets uh, additional attacks on hit rolls of six. It's not sustained hits. You roll another attack, but with a bonus either from the Tech Marine or uh, the um, Blessing of the Machine God, he's hitting on twos, rerolling ones. So uh, it's basically sustained hits. Um, and it looks like we're only go first here. This is going to be a big one. Uh, we got a five for Cha Cha, four for Indicius. So this could be Cha Cha going first. That is a little bit dangerous with all the ignore uh, damage reduction. Plasma cannons over here. Although it's not the biggest alpha strike that we've seen out of Astra Militarum. It's a lot of Sentinels, and the Sentinels themselves are they're fine at shooting, um, but they aren't the greatest thing in the world. The that. fact that they get full rerolls is going to be a little bit problematic um, for this big Astraeus, yeah, but we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm pulling for it. I think it's unlikely we see it killed in the first turn, especially um, since we it is deployed off the line, so it can't be Barbican's Keyed. Uh, turn one. Uh, we does look like we might have an opening in the corner here. I don't think that Indicius is screened effectively, so we could see a unit drop in the back, but it doesn't have any good targets. It could maybe shoot an infiltrator squad, but who cares? I don't think that's worth a Barbican's Key drop. Um... Anyway, uh, there's two units of five Desolation Marines in this list, as well as three Devastator squads in reserve. One of them is uh, normal strategic reserve, so they're going to come off the table edge. Two of them are in a drop pod, so they're going to hop in. Probably battle round two when they can drop outside of their uh, the deployment zone. They can potentially, if uh, if Commander Cha-Cha gets too aggressive this turn and pushes up into the middle of the table, we could potentially see a turn one drop pod drop in Indicia's own deployment zone. Which is a little defensive. You usually want to be taking forward table space in this in this uh, emission. But that said, um, it may be that uh, that's going to be a little tough with the Acadian Shock Troopers just gumming up the midboard here this turn. Uh, last but certainly not least, obviously the Astraeus equipped with uh, plasma eradicators instead of its las rippers. So let's pull up the Astraeus' data sheet real quick and we'll talk about the absolute ludicrousness that is this vehicle. So we're gonna do command phase now. Uh, Here we go, here's the Astraeus super heavy chap. So it's a 550 point super heavy tank. It does fly, which is very important. So it is going to be able to hop over intervening terrain, which makes it very maneuverable. Uh, it's also a repulsor failed keyworded, so uh, it can use repulsor for stratagems, which I don't think it actually matters because it is titanic. So it's going to be able to fall back and shoot. Um, previously, I, it could uh, reduce your charge value, but I think that that is a uh, an invention of 8th edition. And that is previ it's just <laughs> thus been uh, removed. So it is equipped on the top of the Twid Macro Accelerator Cannon, a 12-shot Strength 8 AP2 buff to AP3, thanks to the uh, Devastator Doctrine, three damage ranged weapon. Uh, pretty solid against vehicles. Strength 8 is a little bit low for what you want, but it's high enough volume that it's fine. Absolutely lethal to heavy infantry. Terminators get ripped apart by this thing. Uh, it also then has two Plasma Eradicators. These are uh, basically... The guns on a Redemptor Dreadnought. <laughs> so uh, two D6, Strength 8, AP4, three damage blast attacks that it can overcharge uh, to potentially take mortal wounds, but it doesn't really care about those too much. Um, then on, it has a, a number of um, uh, pencil weapons as well. It has a bunch of uh, heavy stubbers and stuff um, and storm bolters. However, uh, additionally, so it's it's coming in at 30 wounds, toughness 8 with a 2 plus save, can be improved to a 1 plus save thanks to uh, size steel armor and minus 1 damage thanks to the iron stone, and then it has 2 void shields. So each void shield is a floating 3 points, 3 uh, uh, wounds, excuse me, that have a 5 plus invulnerable save. As soon as a void shield suffers 3 or more damage, it is removed. So if a single attack hits it for more than 3 damage, uh, the addition, the excess damage is lost. Basically, it has two floating three wound models in the unit that you can assign wounds to, and once those models are dead, they're gone forever. However, if you ever don't deal all three 
uh, wounds to a void shield, it refreshes in your next command phase. So if you don't do, you know, six or more wounds in one go to the Astraeus, it's actually just going to start regenerating those wounds. Uh, after you, you do that, it will start taking damage on the hull and it will start to lose those 30 wounds, but then can be repaired by the Tech Marine. So uh, this thing is super tough to kill. It has a, th a ton of strength eight, high AP, high damage attacks, uh, and it's just good at, into basically whatever target that you want to shoot it at. Uh, now, the question here is whether or not it can survive the the deadliness that is the ninth edition Astro Militarum Codex. We'll really have to see, but I am pretty excited to see it in action. I'm hoping it can, it can uh, spike through all of the Militarum Plasma Cannons here. The finial of the Nemerdesh first is going to do absolute work, unfortunately. Basically, going to be able to give those guys plus one to uh, plus one damage against the Astraeus because they're going to be ignoring the minus one damage and ignoring the field of pain that it grants. Yep, measuring our shots in there. How's it going, by the way, chat? Thanks, everyone, for uh, coming and hanging out with me this Thursday morning. Hope everyone's having, having a good week of 10th edition spoilers, 10th edition gameplay. Mr. Ray's in chat. It's nice to see you. Thanks for making the trip over from Discord. I'm glad we could uh, find, we could actually get this, uh, this game scheduled. We did have, for the people watching at home, this game was scheduled for 90 minutes ago. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, the players were delayed. We almost had no shows. We almost had a reschedule, but eventually they got it done. So that's good. We made it work. Agent X is in chat too. How's it going, man? Thanks for uh, everybody for coming hanging out. Looks like uh, Lehman Russ is making a making a big push for the Astraeus. Now the thing you have to remember here is that the the Astraeus obviously is like partially body blocked um, by the wall, but you do measure range to the closest point of any model that you're targeting. So one thing in 40k that gets people sometimes is for these huge vehicles. The Astraeus is about, uh, what, like 11 inches long? Uh, almost 12 and a half. Over, over a foot long uh, in terms of its physical mass on the tabletop. So that means that even if you're drawing line of sight to the back corner. Oop, get my telestrate around here. Oop, not what I wanted to do. Nailing it. Even if you're drawing line of sight to the back corner of the Astraeus, you still draw measure your range to the front corner. So you can have one of these Sentinels drawing its line of sight to back here, but measuring its range to here. So it actually can be like eight inches closer than it looks like uh, when you're drawing that, when you're you're measuring that uh, that range. <laughs> Supporting your teammate before you try to kill him in 525. Yeah, pod 25 is going to be our last pod finals for the season, chat. Super excited. Um, unfortunately, not much information that I can give you about the Invitational quite yet because we have so many open questions about 10th edition. We have elected to end the season um, with the official release of 10th edition, but we're going to give it a little while for the edition to percolate before we dive into the Invitational, which we'll be using 10th edition rules. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna see if uh, hold out hope, see what the official GW uh, terrain layouts look like, and we're gonna see what uh, if <laughs> what if any FAQs come out for the edition and factions uh, before we start making our own decisions about those. How are we looking on the uh, prediction here, though? By the way. Oh my god, 89% in and favor of the Lehman Russ. Oh, ye of little faith. Yeah. Although, uh, as its track record would show, Lehman Russ, uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty good. A pretty good battle tank. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with the Lehman Russ. I was going to say they are. I'm not teleporting on print one. Yeah, I think that's HNX put 8,000 on Cha Cha. Hot diggity damn. So, we want psychic. Those are so uh, many treats that you could have bought Inky, but no. So Inky will go without. You... Unless you win, and then she'll okay, get it. Okay, it's AP0, right? Because AP1 then jumps in. Well, it's AP1 all the time. So. You want, yeah, because you're always in. Um, so, we're going to five up. Hey, there's the treat for Inky. Doesn't do anything for me. So, we're going to. 
Should I go find her right now? Uh, I'll go ahead and farm for a CP, I think. Does it make sense? Yeah, we'll farm for a CP. She might be taking a nap. On a seven. Failed. All right. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the shooting phase. Um, let's start with these scout sentinels, these armor sentinels here are going to shoot into your Astraeus. Uh, try to help burn to avoid shield or so. So, uh, they will overcharge. Okay. Six shots. Uh, they're hitting you on threes. Uh, no rerolls at all. You take a mortal. He's hit. Wound you on fours. Um, dice like a little bit. All right, so two wound at eight on your model save. So two five ups. And damage is one, so it's six up, feel no pain. He's fine. The damage is um, two. Not minus one damage. Oh, no. And I actually have no idea where Mikael is. I gave it to him. <laughs> it, it's to, it started the battle round, not that. Oh, it started the battle round, okay. Okay. All right. We'll find okay, her. So we'll shoot the next sentinel squad at you. We'll uh, get her her tree doing the exact same thing, except they ignore your from the pain, animize one damage. And they have your old swan swoon. I don't think they ignore the inbound, but okay. Yeah, they don't ignore the inbound, but they ignore So they ignore the one damage in the... There's only okay. two of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, this is the other squadron, the armored oh, one. Oh, that one. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Off you go. Oh, here she is. Um, Nine shots. With six shots. Right. Oh, that's real go. good. I hope I'm not hideous here, Jim. And then wounding you on fours, three rolling ones. Thank okay, you. five saves. Gonna treat out. Come here. Five, five ups. Okay. And Unfollow. He takes avoid shields no. down to one. Rip me in. Okay. Um, next scout sounds one. Thank you. Uh, be lag there. Yeah, sorry, it was lagging. I was trying to put two dice in. Yeah. Um, oh, no. yeah. Here. 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 Uh, the lag's not great for me right now. Uh, so it's me. Okay, they all hit. So one. This is. They real one to wound. Sorry, there's two. So, two, so she likes licking them. She just wants okay, to say so one void shield is down because that thing ignores funeral pain, right? That's correct. Right. Okay. One void shield is down. That was kind of unfortunate. So I expect them to do a bit more than that. <laughs> I need to do a bit more than that. Uh, Chacha, uh, you now. bumping up one. against the resilience he of the Astraeus get, here. Reduction, right? Killed one void shield with. Uh, uh, is that a Lehman Russ and a Scout Sentinel? Uh, a unit of Scout Sentinels? That's not exactly what you want. Uh, no wounds. Last cannon. Yeah, last cannon. Hits. To be fair, especially with Astro Militarm uh, uh, defensive stratagems, the, the Astraeus isn't that. perfectly statted to knock it out, to, to, to yeah. deal too much damage in the swing back. It might be able to kill most of an Armored Sentinel unit. Um, okay. But it it has is that actually has a little bit of trouble punching through the Lehman Ross just because it's winning on fours. So it is a good target for Mercy's weakness. So you can try to you know multiply damage on it. But uh, it is it does have a little bit of trouble. Fours. That many seconds. Uh, he, oh, I do get few the pains with this, so these are five ups. These are what? Three damage piece? Yes, the other two. Dudes, thank you for your treat for Inky. She enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. Now, wait, let me do this. Do this thingy. Okay, so three at a time. Oh, first one is. Takes two damage on the first void, second void shield. The void shield is down. These are on the armor. It takes two damage. Uh, it's AP4, so you would take four damage, I think? 
Can we jump safe? No, it's one and the same thing. I uh, mean, this is my feel no pain. Sorry, it's feel no pain. Feel, feel no pain. Alright, alright. Alright, I'm done. I know what it is. Alright, all damage on the Astraeus now. Right, Two uh, so far. Alright, is gonna shoot you now. Four, Here seven gatekeeper. Uh, three is really ones. And then threes. Alright, five at AP3. Oof, that's a hit. AP3, so that would be five. Five ups. Oh Ooh, no! Damage. Looks like Oopie. that. Two good saving AP3. throws have uh, turned around a little bit. Cracks in for 15. Takes nine. Oh, for 10 because of the damage reduction. That's going to sting. I definitely want to do more damage there, but that was kind of unfortunate. Got sounds kind of whipped on me. Um, and then, so we're going to shoot Earthshakers now. Okay, me too. Um, so they're AP 3 into you, so these guys are going to shoot 2 into the red squad and 1 into the blue squad. So 1 to the green squad, 2 into the red squad. That was so the squad squad. To oh. gatekeeper champ. We're firing the gun carriages now. Transhuman red squad. <laughs> Trying to keep them alive. That is... Yeah, these units are going to rip apart the Kazakhan if... Uh, if Cha Cha can't Does deal with them to... now, Wait, they do uh, those D3 right, blast right. weapons. And we are using the. It is the 9th edition blast rule, so they max three shots against 10 model units. Uh, fours. Yeah, Gate, <laughs> Gatekeeper is a Chad. <laughs> that relic. Uh, I don't know if there's been a single incarnation of that relic so far that has not been an auto include in most armies. And then. Fours again. Helped. Uh, AP is? Uh, it's AP4. Goes to AP3 because it's indirect. Well, these are 5 ups. And then. Okay, first one. Dead. Second. These are 2 damage, right? Yes. Okay, 2 guys will die. Dead would be Only dead. 2 desolators with the Earth Ca Earth Shaker carriages. That's pretty good, but their damage is going to stack up over the course of the game. And then 1 into your. Second one. Uh, just four shots. Um, and then two. <laughs> right. To be fair, two guys in cover, I think. So Raise? Could, well, Necrons had the Voltaic Staff, I think, for a lot longer than <laughs> Astromel Atarm had Gatekeeper. I don't even know if it's a uh, if it's a case of, of relic power creep. It's just the fact that attaching a relic weapon to a battle cannon is usually more effective than it is on a on a you know, Technomancer. Kind of a better there. Yeah, a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, he, we only plastered uh, seventeen damage into the right. um, Scoring wise, really. I do get partial command for three. Cause I didn't kill a full kill unit. Uh, no, these are iron off, so I only it for two. Did do warp erase one banner? Do not get banned. Okay, so plus one to hit will go on to the Astraeus. And that's it. Movement. Let's make this count now. Just gonna move over there. So over to Indicius um, turn. Advance these infiltrators. Lost. Uh, did lose a reasonable number of desolators. Lost three desolators to the Earthshaker carriages. That's certainly worth the investment for that indirect fire. Pushing the infiltrators up. I think we're hoping we can screen out the back line for the Barbican's Key with the Tech Marine. We do have to make sure there's no cheeky line of sight behind there, but I think he's going to be safe. Now, these are scout sentinels in the front here, so they don't have that armored tracks keyword, so I think they are going to be a prime target for the Relic and Tempter Dreadnought. That armored ability ignoring uh, AP1 on the uh, armored sentinels. And with an approved save, makes them very resilient against that guy. Now, 
Looks like we're measuring for where the Librarian's gonna be ending up, so he can cast his powers on both the Relic Contemptor and the Astraeus. Now, the, the other question that we have here is whether or not this is a big enough commitment from the Astra Militarum that we end up dropping the Devastator Drop Pod. What you can try to do with, with Iron Hands and one of their biggest uh, pieces of technology is just the threat overload uh, on one turn where you can drop all your reinforcements and push your so, yeah, I guess your uh, utility units out I super far. And I think uh, the bombs. Astraeus is a pretty prime example of that. That thing is hard yeah. enough to kill that it's going to pull a ton of focus from those Devastators. But these plasma cannons can either go into the Devastators or they could go into the Tiki, we'll take um, Astraeus. And it, uh, Command Trash is not going to have the opportunity to kill both of them in one go. Uh, these guys will... But to be fair, I think the only thing that's really in danger from that Devastator Drop Pot is going to be the Scout yes. Sentinels in the middle. It doesn't look like the Lehman Ross are getting hit. Maybe for along the side here if they dropped uh, in this area. But to be fair, um, it is in dense cover, so it's going to be a tough shot. Uh, I think we are. We're maybe looking for it. Need to kill one, two, three, four. Needs to be safe. Good not fix up here. Where's your like, psycho? I like this math too. He's in the command squad. And Dizzy is deciding how many of these vehicles he has to kill to keep the Astraeus safe. Because he is going to start repairing the Astraeus with the Tech Marine. Uh, I don't have anything. Have that guy. No, I don't have. Okay. Let me just do stuff like this. Oh, look like, looks like we might see a Devastator drop. Ooh. This is extremely spicy. The uh, Relic Contemptor is, is pretty long up, range. Uh, Fires 36, or 45, excuse me, with the Twin Volkite Coverance. Okay. So it, it, it could and pile into the comes down. Armored Sentinels in the back if we see the uh, Devastators pick up the Scouts. And the Devastators, well, actually, they're they're probably not too great at killing the Scouts because the Scrap Cannons actually won't trigger on the 4 plus save Scout, Scout, Scout Sentinels. Which is a little funky. We didn't quite talk about secondaries either so far. And Dysius in here with O's of Moments. He's going to try to push into the center of the table. He's most likely going to kill a vehicle, so he'll, he'll probably score the vehicle and morale test criteria for that secondary, but I doubt he'll go to the middle this turn. Uh, he's also with Raise the Banners, which is a, a good late-game secondary for this mission, but he it, it assumes that he has enough infantry in the late game in order to complete it, which is a little bit dicey. Uh, Commander Cha-Cha over here. Interestingly, with Warp Ritual, we do have a Psychic Hood equipped Librarian on Indicius' side of the table in order to deny that Warp Ritual, and Iron Hands having Souls of Iron to try to block the Warp Ritual for 2 CP on a 4+. plus Could throw a wrench in that works. I do like that pick, though. It's kind of a BM, right? The uh, the unkillable Command Squad over here, the Cadian Command Squad with uh, Cadia Stands for the, the Transhuman effect, Plus the Ogre Bodyguard for half damage, or minus one damage, plus the Medic for if I have a damage ignore roll, uh, is actually going to uh, <laughs> basically just take the middle of the table, get get pointed at by Lord Solar to get objective secured, or give themselves objective secured, and uh, just hang out in there for a while. And this is Abandoned Sanctuary, so holding the middle of the table scores you uh, victory points for the tertiary objective. So it looks like we're going to be aiming the Grav Cannons at the Armored Sentinels over here on the left-hand side of the table. multi belts into the Scout Sentinels. And then we have the Relic Contemptor and the Astraeus they can shoot at, whatever they want. A little worried about this back corner. No, that should be screened out by the Tech Marine. Even the Dreadnought plus one to hit does not go off. You do need that. Yes, I do. Is that worth the command point to reroll? That's our, that's our Mercy as weakness point. I don't believe that we have the CP regen relic for the Iron Hands in this game. All those relics of Warlord traits go 
The Relic of World of Trade money goes directly into that, the Relic Acceptor's guns in this list for the most part. I won't do all that. I'm good. Yeah, he's psychic finished. Shoot him. My turn. Let's start with the indirects. These guys, green squad, is gonna fire into uh, this front Kazakhan squad. All right. So take cover, cover on the Kazakhan right now. So they're gonna be benefiting from that uh, plus one save. As you wish. So all of it's going in there, and this one's not gonna pop the out. Sure. That's fine. So everything's gonna go into them. We got yep. max shots with everything except the Vango mm. launcher. Yep. Vango launcher has five shots. Sergeant is going over terrain, no matter where. These are hitting on threes. Ones. These moves on fours. Three at AP two. Mm -hmm. And just front spawn. And then oh, this is about to go on a train out because they also they they have a dense amount of like hit forward. Yeah, I hit on threes because I have a two up. I have a two up. Yeah, yeah I, I get that. But also, it doesn't matter if you're on train or not. Um, is it three at AP two? Yep. So, okay, so on three. cover. So. He's a cover. Yeah, we're four ups. Two dies. And then max shots with the Castellans. So, it's on threes, little ones. One's on threes, little ones. Oh, that is. And then that is three, six, nine with the rest of them. So, Acadia standard the Kazakhan sounds like to it's on four, reduce the uh, five, effectiveness. Actually. I wonder if you. Um, I guess Indicius wants to fire Please. into units that benefit from him Please. from blast as much Please. as possible. Um, so he's less incentivized to like split fire between the two Kazakhan units. Knocking down the Kazakhan units this early is, is very important because they want to be dumping stratagems into those units. And so reducing the effectiveness of those stratagems uh, on each of those units is very is, uh, powerful. So this front squad is the heirloom weapon squad, so this is the extended range unit. The Barbican's key one is the one we're really worried about, but popping out the Cadia stands this early means that the second Desolation unit is actually going to be uh, basically full power into the, the second Kazrakin unit. Let's go into pink. Uh, Sergeant can see this guy with out going through to lane, so you'll be hitting on twos. D6 shots, three shots. Uh, this, they they receive benefits of dense because the unit is receiving like up. The unit has like cover because they have a guy to in here. So they also get dense. Oh, uh, okay. So these little yeah. ones. And these are twos. One on your warp on that guy. That's a D3. <laughs> Isaac is, the. Uh, to be fair here, uh, Commander Cha Cha is having some trouble with internet today. So his internet connection is unfortunately very bad. So we may see some flailing <laughs> as he lags. A little unfortunate. And it's not even Tuesday. Please to wound. Two wounds on your fall. Guys, then a five up. Two days. Six shots, and I don't get cover now, so these are all fives. They still receive light, they just don't receive deaths. So these are four fives. Why would you still get dense? You don't get cover now. So I get light, but not deaths. Okay, so, so if I'm not receiving any cover, I get light. If I don't receive, if I'm receiving light, I get that. I don't need some fours anyway. Add three to wound. And one more wound. Oof. It's just. But it's, not, it's not quite the shooting we want to see from the desolators, but it is small units of desolators. It's not too bad. Three out of each guys you can unit. That's something. Okay. And they could conceivably fail morale here. Although, actually, no, not with Lord Solar there. Lord Solar will offer his leadership to them and they'll be okay. Start with those 
Uh, I think that some of the, the models could see um, across this across. line here that uh, didn't draw across dense. The dense, the dense uh, wasn't entirely. The squad. Um, the squad. Encompassing them. Die. <laughs> yeah, okay, we, so we're going to put. You got to uh, gotta get those Chad Space Wolf Desolators in there for all sure. The guns are gonna go into the shock tube. Yep. So the heavy bolter and the stubbers will go into there, and the storm bolter. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. All the what's it called? The twin macro accelerator cannon will go into the armored sentinels. Huh? And the. Plasma Eradicator will go into... These guys have no save against... They have a yeah, I, I think uh, he took the Venger yeah, shot. The um, and um, one Desolator shot. Uh, maybe the two Desolators could see the, the back. I don't know. I didn't make the measurement. I believe that he measured. He checked it correctly, though. He's already got dense. Well, it can't let you as well. Okay. So it back to the force. Very well. So we'll start with these guys. Twelve shots. You know, twos. You know, ones. You know, threes. But this is nine at minus three. So six ups for you. So that's a macro accelerator. Just ramming into the uh, armored sentinels. Is this gonna clip the grav cannons targets though? Either two damage each, three, three damage each. Oh. <laughs> One, two. Almost three, clips two. the entire unit. Yeah. Well, two did something. Yeah, yeah. Nope, one three, on one, I think, or one on yeah, one on. Oh no, one of them overheated. Just kills the whole unit with and the macro accelerators. The Those big super heavy auto cannons just <laughs> start. Start thumping away. Oh my god. Astraeus, you absolute god machine. Let's go. Little ones. Moving on, please. That is four saves minus two. Um, should get a six up at the cover. That is some daka dakas. Is it four I'll just kill four guys. Uh, I'll save her for something else. You have a six ups cover. Oh, we saw you have a That's great. Never mind. Um, six ups. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, no. Eight stubbers. So I think Not we two. just. Uh, and we'll on threes. Blitzed away at the shock troopers. Another here. five saves at minus two. We got one more guy in cover. Because that guy. And that is like more guys. So we got four more guys in cover, so four, five saves. So you said there's five in total, right? Yeah, five in total. Alright, so the first four on cover. Three Save die. One. Next one cover. That's four on cover. All on cover this time. Ugh. Nope, Storm Bolt is not in range. And then we just got the 2d6 shots into Mr. Lemon, the Lemon. I will be overcharging. Six shots. These are hitting on fours. Yep, so fours and fours, right? Thank you. Yes, should be. Because you're minus two plus one. So, eh, it helped you. And fours. One wound minus four. Yeah, so that was the two, the twin heavy Three bolter damage. and the Wait, iron hail one? heavy no, stubber, clearing out the shock oh, troopers nice from this thing. Nice and then bounces off the lemon rust, which is mostly what we expected. But clipping an entire unit of armored sentinels, uh, as as sad as it is, that unit is only a, what the hundred and thirty five points. <laughs> But it feels good, man, <laughs> to just get rid of those stupid things. Uh, they are ridiculously hard to kill for their points value, and they hit well above their weight class. So ripping a unit off the table there is a big deal. Just to put that down. 
So we'll see uh, if we can plow into okay. the other one. Let's do the Devastator before we get into the defense. <laughs> this Devastator is going to fire his melt into your tank commander. Mm -hmm. All the Gravs are going to fire into your Sentinels. I'm giving the plus one to the Melter. Alright. Put the array. So these are into the tank commander. He is touching cover, so these will be threes. Yeah, those armored Sentinels are... are nuts yeah, cheap. Falls. I'm glad they. Uh, I'm glad they. They've become like uh, more of an independent unit in the, the new index. They're tankier, uh, significantly so, but they're also almost twice as expensive as they were, which I think is a good trade-off. You know, they're a, they're a they're a vehicle that actually feels like a vehicle now, not a a large infantry model that just somehow has the same resilience as like two centurions yeah, stacked okay. on top of each other. It's like that all opportunities. Up and down. It's on three. And all the graves into the sentinels. No one's in cover that matters. So this is 12 shots. It's on threes. And these will wound on five. Your T6, right? Yes. Oh, T8, sorry. T6, yeah. T6, yep. So these are fives, little ones. So you take four damage because your armor save is a bit pitiful. It's minus four. Yep. Yeah. Four on this back end. Okay. And then I'm popping the cherub. And I'm going to fire into your commander again. It's on threes. It's on a four. Zero ones for the sergeant. So if I don't roll two ones, he's dead. He's dead. Uh, I'll spend the CP to shoot on there. As you wish. In two. Um, okay, so this squad's on the fire, right? Try to see if I can shoot still this one. So, quiet. So. Is good. You can see the ones at the back. Yes. Yeah. If I can shoot into him, what what do what do these guys have range into? So far, they only got range into your sentinels in the middle. Sentinels in the middle. Um. In that case, I really like to shoot on death into the strays. Yeah. I'm gonna do that because I'm the best person possible for having your thing. But he's strike nine and yeah. Eat it. Sure. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, is there any Astraeus? Taking a well, final your... salute here yeah, into the right. Astraeus. Yeah, Insane damage from this Iron Hands army this turn. I don't. I certainly did not expect the tank commander to go down here. But I think uh, we, I, uh, Commander Chacha was trying to keep the Kazakhan unit alive. So he did burn his points that he could have spent on a blade of armor to keep that guy alive. But now just going to take the, the, the fire on death. And breathe. Oof. And four more saves into the Astraeus. My bonus armor, so these are four ups. Oh, oh no. And these. Four, uh, Saving throw is not going so well for Indicius. After those first couple that were really good, he's suffering a little bit. No damage ignores made. Down to 14. It does bracket. 14. Uh, and that is yeah. in the realm of killability for the remainder yeah. of this army. Yeah, finished. I'm fine. The back squad of Devastators. I think. I was just a little bit for the death threat. I was going to say, but he did not explode. Okay, no problem. Uh, so the squad of devastators are going to fire into your sentinels here in the center. I think. Let me just see up. Okay, these two can't fire. These two will. So only the melter and this grab cannon can fire. Okay. So the melter will get the plus one to hit. So it's on twos. We don't these so first we'll punch right through the armor first one takes three damage so that one's dead second one will take 
one damage. One. Four grabs. Four grabs. He doesn't explode. Okay. And then the four grabs. Yeah, Ammo Paladin, hit. that's a good call. Yeah, it, it, it isn't actually bracketed because of the Iron Hands. Yeah, Take it counts as having 28 wounds remaining, so it's still still, uh, still on top for now. And then I'll pop in the Cherub to fire them out again. Both hit. Both wounds. Both wound. First one is dead. Second one takes six damage. An efficient termination, if I'm to borrow a uh, well, idiom from Dark Tide here. Five Sentinels and a tank this. commander dead this turn. And he's gonna put everything into these into these armored Sentinels. Everything from the Relic Contemptor into the armor. The Scout Sentinel is a, a quick grab on the center objective, but to be fair, you also score points for destroying units in the center. So the Sentinel in the uh, middle is actually kind of a good pickup for Odysseus to hold for a turn. He can eat the one plasma cannon shot and then uh, just end up scoring that. Oh, a moment on that thing for next turn. Clay IO. Thank you so much for the, the uh, subscription. Really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody who subscribes over here. That's one, so four ups. Two, four damage on there on one of the armored sentinels. Then two rockets. It's on threes. Mm. One possible explosion. Yep. It's on threes. Against the merciless logic hit. Uh, one at minus three. I don't think you get an armor save. No, you get a six up. Okay, D6 damage. Clips the oh. second armored sentinel. So six sentinels in the battle tank down this turn. Ugh. But it is time to see the Kazakhan do their work. We only have one Devastator squad left in reserve for the Iron Hands. And the Militarum are uh, looking a little thin on the ground, but these uh, shock troopers have not yet spooled up those hotshot volley guns. Dead and then... no. That's like, that's last in your turn, right? Yeah, that's the last shooting. I already got the five, so it's dead. Yeah, so it, it kills me. It's going wide. I don't get O for killing multiple things, do I? You don't please. I one think it's still one character point. Monster, monster, uh, monster recall. Well, that's, that'd be really, really good. No <laughs> shock tactics scored either. Wonder if it. Uh, it's going to be a little bit awkward for Odysseus to score that one, I think. Uh, if Commander Cha-Cha just doesn't push to the middle this turn, he doesn't really have an incentive to. He could grab Tertiary, but then he just gives up Tertiary. Um, and right now, Iron Hands is just focusing fire down the middle of the table. Cha-Cha has to come back and just basically just hammer down the Astraeus and kill as many of these Devastators as possible to keep the, the tide of Iron Hands back. And if you can do that, I mean, the Astraeus is, is the majority of the offensive power in the uh, in the Iron Hands army. So if this Lehman Rust battle tank uh, goes for it and just uh, gets the, the knockout here. It's going to be a tough road for the Iron Hands to come back from, especially because Chacha doesn't really have to play primary this game. He has the benefit of secondaries. He's also gotten raised the banner side, which is... <laughs> An interesting selection. No uh, boots on the ground, which I don't know if I entirely agree with. Um, but Inflexible Command is basically an auto-15 for the Astro Militarum. So he's got certainly the benefit of secondaries because he can play around Shock Tactics. And their Raise the Banner's High should basically blank. So if, if the game state continues unabated, Commander Cha-Cha, as long as he can kill enough stuff that he doesn't lose in the bottom round five, um, doesn't have to push out. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we just see a very cagey game plan here. We don't see anything put to the middle because that gives you an easy charge target to grant Osa moment. It grants, gives your opponent tertiary and it grants them shock tactics. So I have a sneaking suspicion we're just going to see these units tow just off the middle of the table and uh, take some pot shots. 
And those military and plastic cannons, pretty good at knocking out Devastator Marines. They do do two damage and ignore the feel no pain. Yeah, no more mobility on the Iron Hand side. You, d you can't discount the Relic Contemptor Dreadnought, obviously, and there is damage uh, on the second Lehman Russ. So if that Lehman Russ leaves dense cover, leaves the, uh, the Vat of Acid here, and um, goes for a little bit of a joy ride, then it could get randomly knocked out by the Relic Contemptor. That thing can spike so hard with Mercy's Weakness. Turning its sixes to wound into mortal wounds. Uh, regular damage and an additional save. Which is pretty scary. Shock Trooper and E Special Weapon Boy. Yeah, I'll step the jump The other guy runs on uh, 102. Yeah. I'd actually lose a Guardsman squad here to morale. You could. No, not quite. That's me done. You're done, so. That guy's going to be useful to stick around as well, because uh, you can run him to the center in the late game right if you want to. Yeah, because they have the officer leadership. They should have okay, so mind. Okay. I'll be right back. Off you go. Uh, taking on Sentinels. Uh, rapid, this the uh, Kazakhin or on Kazakhins. Extra shots. Four year olds on the Skazman squad. I should use all the heavy things. And then. Um, Alright, time to Kazakin bomb. So the Barbican's key unit is spooled up. First ring fire, second ring fire on those guys to make their last guns better. And full rerolls on the pink unit. Question is where they drop. Could be in the center, just off the middle. And you can just lay into the Devastators. Or you go on the side. You can actually probably keep that unit relatively safe. If the game plan is to kill the Astraeus, you could just drop them like here. They don't have great line of sight from the Devastators or the Infiltrators coming back to hit them back. Uh, and they can just lock in on the the, the Astraeus and uh, plink it for a ton of mortal wounds. Shock Trooper is going to be taking this objective. It's a little dangerous because the Infiltrators can steal it back for Shock Tactics. But it does force them to come out in, into the open. And I think, uh, yeah, Charchester's going kind to of full commit here and try to kill the Astraeus. If he can do that, he's in probably pretty good shape. If he flubs it a second time, though. <laughs> uh, not going to go well for you, my guy. The other downside here is that if the Barbican's key unit pops to the other side of the table, it no longer ignores uh, the Iron Stone, which should matter for... I guess it doesn't have plasma weapons. Oh, it matters for the Hotshot Marksman, I guess. Uh, but it also doesn't ignore their... Uh, the built-in feel no pain. And you could actually, in that case, we only have one CP remaining for Indicius. Oh, we're just pushing to the center. Uh, got an extra guy in there, right, dude? I think you uh, took another guy for a ride here. All right, 27. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, all, the all the colors disappeared for me since I reloaded, so I... Oh, uh, yeah. No worries. Uh, that's a fair point, too. Yeah, if he kills at least two Desolators out of the green squad and one out of the red, then the um, Contemptor loses lookouts here. I don't know. I guess maybe that's the plan. Mm. You could you could take the shot on the Relic Contemptor with that unit. Yeah, you're kind of putting a lot... Nice. <laughs> you're putting a lot of faith into the Lehman Ross yeah. <laughs> Exterminator. And then or the executioner, excuse me. Um, that thing can that can, thing can flub out in its attack volume pretty Since easily. It does have oh, it's only heavy bolters on the sponsons too. Those things are gonna bounce right off that thing. It does have plus one save now from size steel armor. Let's go right here. All right. Yeah, I love this move, too. We're going to make it so difficult for the Devastators to get their shot yeah. on this, the swing back. Cool. And it looks like... They, so I think the Kazakhin are just going in on the Devastators uh, instead of the Astraeus. So did this kill the Astraeus? A Lehman Rust battle tank? Two armored Sentinels? Uh, which 
Do you not have hunter killers? Looks like the hunter killer unit got got annihilated. And you could pop the Earthshaker carriages into them, but the Earthshaker carriages are are un an unmitigated disaster shooting at the Astraeus. That is not the target you want for them. They do wound on threes, but they're suffering indirect fire penalty plus size steel armor. So it's saving on threes and reducing their damage to one, and then ignoring on sixes. That is that is not exactly what you want. Those, the, <laughs> those aren't great odds, <laughs> especially because you want to be hitting the Desolators, because those Desolators will just pop the second unit of Kazukin if they're allowed to survive. Um, All right, Mr. Cha Cha, what do we got? Start with. Um, what should we call it? Um, it was going to start with the. Can they see it? The, the Earth Shakers. Oh, they probably can, the actually. Yeah, you're right. Two into the four man, one to the three man. I'll spend one CP to consume the clean man. So we prep the CP to transhuman the desolators. Yep. Uh, yes. Sorry, Splain. So. Okay. Alright, it's been not great. Um, so, okay, so there's two dice for the number of shots. Five plus it's 11. six or eleven. All right. Um. Here we go. Yep. Fours and then fours. Like that. A lot of wounds. Very nice. Yep. And then okay. Uh, six saves. AEP. And then. Uh, there's only two guys in coverage, so you have to release separately. How much AP is this? Four. AP4. Uh, right? AP, AP4, reduced by one for indirect, reduced by one for cover, so it's AP2. Okay, so there's two guys, so this is five ups until one of them dies. So five up. Okay, then he has a six up funeral pain. He's dead. Okay, and then another guy in cover is a sergeant, if it doesn't matter. Five up now, doesn't matter. Uh, six up funeral pain. He did. And these go straight through. The next how much well, is no, left? He's still six up. He six up. Uh, no, they would be oh, yeah, six up because of any. Okay, so next is six, six up. Nope, I have a few no six up few no pains. He's alive. And then next one, how much how much gold went to? It was six. So I hope four so far, so Nope, six up feel no pain. That guy dead. And next one is a six up. Nope, I feel no pain. Nope, squad's dead. Ouch. Cool. One um, desolator unit that, down. I suppose. And then. Right. Dice is um, then we have the other one single gun into the other guy. It's on the fours. On the four, anyway. Two went blue. And then twos. These are also fives. Okay, so five up, live five up, might be dead. He, this one guy will die with the sergeant. It's that guy. Cool. I think we're going to throw everything at the. So I was going to put the casket into devastators, but to be honest, you already killed most of my big tank stuff. I think I'm just going to throw them all into the relic contemptor. Okay. Yeah, I'm very because he took like, everything in my army. Um, I think the relic conceptor kills everything in every yeah, army. Yeah, so we're gonna throw. It is un. It, it's not. It's pretty yeah, seldom the that, guy. that you uh, actually get to shoot that guy. Okay. So, um, here we go. Full rerolling. So, 
We'll shoot the sniper. All the chicanery at him. Okay. Um, I'll spend we'll the see if we can knock this thing out. Two strats. Um, it's a new battle round, so we refund either of those. We can a little not. unfortunate that these infiltrators aren't granting the uh, lookouts or else as well. All we needed was one model to be here, but a little bit of a misposition on NDC's uh, part. It hits, but I don't think I have penalties, but it doesn't auto wound. Does it or hit? do more. Like you ignore cover. Oh, wait, yeah, you have duds. Uh, so yeah, I'll order it off. No, there we go. Okay, so that's two mortals and then uh, AP2 for him, okay? Two mortals and AP2. Maybe so. AP2 only. Was AP more than that? Hot jump, man. AP2. All the guns are AP2. Uh, so AP2 becomes AP1, so this is a 4 up. He's fine. And he takes. Are you in the banner range, I'm assuming? Okay, so he just takes two mortals. Okay. Um, then we're gonna shoot. If we lost three guys. It'd be nine shots with these guns. Does that count? Does the sniper do the mortal, or is it the strat that did the mortal? I did one more from the strat and one more from the sniper, so I can do five okay. more. Okay. Okay. Alright, dice are lagged. Mm. These would be f these rolls. Yes. Yeah, so we're just gonna full roll everything because we're only on sixes with these guns. Okay, so two misses and three auto wounds, so. So I'm just dicing. Uh, dice are Alright, so yeah. Uh, four auto wounds because we are on five. So that's the six yeah, mortals. Okay. Five mortals to you there. One will no save. Funeral pain. And then, yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't wound, it was on a six. No. That's six saves, and. Six saves, the AP and then. On these things. AP2. AP2. Okay, so. Six saves. Yep, six saves. So, six, five ups. Alright, he's dead. These are. He takes seven in total. He takes five model wins as well. No way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's dead and I can't feel on pain yet. Does he explode? Nope. Yikes. That's a big I loss like right that. there. I like that. He's dead. I don't know. Cells seem like a bad That, uh, <laughs> Relic Conceptor, I think, is a lot of. Odysseus' is late game plan. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a Relic Conceptor die this early in the game, to be honest, yet. Yeah. I think that was a, uh,. That was a huge mistake from Indicius not protecting him with the infiltrator yeah, unit. Max shots on the big end. Okay, nice. Whoopsies. Um, so it's nine, oh, and he rolled three, six three, shots to Lehman three, Russ into the Astraeus. Oh, no. Oh, it could all be going south really fast here. So two mortals. Uh, and these are going to be on fours. Okay, so that is 44. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So fives. Four five ups. Okay, uh, three down to two, so six up here, no pain. Takes two, takes three. Down to three. Right. Well, he saved. He saved out of it pretty well. Only took three from the then, big uh, exterminator shot or uh, executioner shot, and damaged itself for its trouble. Uh, and then so yeah. So I don't think the Astraeus is going down. We did lose the Relic Contemptor, but the Astraeus is going to get another turn in order to try to secure its victory. It is probably going to be low enough that the second Kazarkin unit may be able to uh, make a play to knock it out. And then five swings. Oh, yeah. But if you are, if they could get here. So only minus one, right? Just one. Five, only minus one. So these are two ups. It's fine. There are still two sentinels, chat, but the two sentinels physically cannot then, uh, the last roll enough attacks to kill the Astraeus. Uh, the the Militar and Plasma Cannons on the uh, uh, Sentinels only cap at two damage, and it's being reduced to one thanks to the Iron Stone. Because okay. uh, I don't they, believe they're in range of the Finial. Actually, they may be. Um, so we'll go ahead and do so they, the they, they potentially the could the overcharge. if they're in range of the uh, of the banner. If they roll double shots. threes on shots. 
or so. Threes. Got it. And then fours. Just one. Um, I one wound. Just one. Maybe, yeah, four. Takes it. One damage. He does, he does feel good. Yeah, no. Nice. Um, can you fall back and shoot with him? Yep. He's a Titanic. Oh, sorry. I just my mic. My hit the back accent. Can you fall back and shoot with him? Excuse? Can you fall back and shoot with this race? Yes, I can. He's Titanic. Titanic, I just say something wrong. Um, so what we are going to be doing is... You still got the Sentinel to shoot if you yeah, want. Yeah, Sentinels and then the troops can shoot. Uh, he's going to go and throw shots into, I guess, the front Devastator squad. Not overcharge, of course, because I could just kill him. One shot. This is... Um, right, I wonder so yeah, if we're going to uh, push for a charge with the Scout Sentinel. I'll try to get that Chainsaw in range and then... Uh, engage the Devastators. They're not gonna kill her. Try to pin them into this little corner. Plasmas. So, one, so it's be three plasma shots in total. And one melt again shot, right? Yeah, one melt again shot. So. Melt again, yep, it's an edge. Overcharge, I mean. Two hits. They have two games, so they're actually three hits. So, okay. uh, and then wounds you on fours should be fours, yeah. Two wounds, two four ups, and one six up. You no pain. He's fine. And two single melt again on a. It's. I'm gonna roll. Yeah. Uh, then wounds on a that it wounds. Ooh. Uh, minus four, so this is a f five up. Yeah, <laughs> boss, the save against the melting. And then it's gonna be scary. So, yikes! See how you guys are out Random range. infantry melt again is a little half. bit frightening. Not in half. It also be in half. So I think Indicius is out of the woods this turn. It's Losing the relic contemptor is a huge deal. Four, six, eight, He's gonna be able to come back and most likely clip out the, the remaining Lehman Russ with the Astraeus. Probably take the mid-board with the Infiltrators. We'll see where the Scout Sentinel goes. Uh, we do have... I think the reason that we see... Uh, <laughs> 14, 16, the Devastator Sergeants are being proxied by Perturabo today. Because they do have Thunder Hammers. So engaging that unit is probably death for the Scout Sentinel. So I imagine we'll see it go in, in for the Infiltrators and just hope it survives. Um, right now it is basically being a charge target on that objective. Um. Alright, going to do dice. Hits you on three units. Explodes on six units. And six is auto. Yep. So. so you get two explosions and two autos. Auto wounds. Mm -hmm. We so just ripped both auto wounds. Your squads here. <laughs> Go get them, boys. Pew pew. And sixes. So, in total. If AB1, because AB1, because, you know. I take a wound. Yeah. And I feel hey, look, at, look at them go. Look at them. 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 And then we have one through. four shots in total Was... from both Sergeant's auto guns. That may, uh, could be the difference there. That would be funny. Do it if you want. We've done 16. So what is he actually? What does he bracket at normally? Or He's still on top bracket at the moment. Okay. That's unfortunate for me. I would like the bottom bracket now. Or at least mid bracket. But you probably use heal him back up to the point. Yep. So another round of those Reyes walking around. They're unfortunate. I think they're probably losing any the game. We'll see here. Any charges? Yep. Um. So Scout Sentinel. Is here going to charge since these guys are here. Yeah, why not? But the desolation moving. Ooh, could yeah. engage the desolators through the wall. I didn't even see that. That's a good call out. 
Yeah, that is the downside of uh, grab, grabbing cover with those guys. It protects you against the indirect fire a little bit, but it makes you a potential charge target. Uh, gonna have to charge out of the banner range, though, so I do get a feel no pain against um, his attacks. Yeah. We, we are gonna try to stay out of the range of that guy. He, he's three inch. Is it possible? Yeah. Maybe not. Let's see. We, um, maybe, we yeah. can come over here. It probably makes it. Through. No, yeah. I'm also going to stand. So we'll just touch that there. I can still. Yeah, I can still heal a week. I'll just come more into the corner. Yeah, good. You probably just kill me anyway because I just I have a four up save. Um, and then is there anything else that needs to happen? Charging this guy does no benefits. He's. He's Titanic, so there's no benefit of charging him. So I'd like restricting his movements. Um. I think we're just gonna charge me. To shock troops? Yeah. Go get them, boys. Okay. Does push the shock troops farther forward. The one thing we have to remember, chat, is that there is a unit of devastators in reserve. So uh, if we get a charge with the shock troops here, they could actually potentially screen this area out uh, with their pile and consolidate moves getting around the Astraeus like that. Restricts the Astraeus' movement, forces it to maybe go back to its deployment zone, which is a lot big loss of tempo. And then also uh, prevents a good drop in this side from sure. the Devastators just clipping out the Lumen Russ. Let's see if we can chop up two things. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just three attacks. So we didn't get it, though. So this Devastators may, may um, pop in there. fours and then on threes. This is a skeleton, so no one gets two attacks. Oh, uh, he has a chainsword. I'm sorry. That was there was an Aaron Yell's right? It's from the scout, so okay. it doesn't show up. In the BCP list, it doesn't have a chainsword. So one hit and can oh, confirm. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Does it wound or does not? It did not. It's strength okay. six. So. All right. We'll see if the Desolators blow this okay, thing well, up. Let's see can punch you back. <laughs> we um, believe. Let's go. Get him. Four plus three, seven. It's on threes. It's on fives. Three those ones. Three wounds on your four. Up. Ooh. Desolators, why? <laughs> Are you for real? Let's shot. Isn't funny? Yeah, we got him. All right, well, and that gives them a consolidation. Do you take it? No, probably not. Right, just two shots, and you open yourself up to direct fire shooting. At least makes them. Uh, you killed my dreadnought. You killed. At least makes them. That's only when you killed. When you waste their indirect fire on those guys. And that uh, squad of marines. Um. So I do get. Now I wonder, you do have to drop down outside the deployment zone here. I do wonder if there's a line of sight here for a Devastator squad. If it doesn't want to go for the um, drop onto the Lehman Russ to pop in on this corner, they'd probably get killed by Lord Solar, but they could potentially knock out this uh, Kazakhan squad. There's a banner if they can. No, actually, I will just. Man, the infiltrator is also not positioned oh, to raise the banner in that center objective this round either. Mm, yeah, I think some really loosey goosey positioning on Indicius' side. <laughs> it's a huge advance roll though. Get him go, go get him, boys. Um, this is going to be one of those games where these random infiltrators start to become super duper useful. It's a very deadly game because uh, they start. They get. They're very good at picking up uh, Imperial Guard infantry. They've got those cool auto wounding bolt guns. They've got three attacks in melee. Just punch some regular dudes to death. Okay, so these guys are just going to. Oh, your shock troops over there, OPSEC. <laughs> Love a good okay. loose and goose. Oh, those shock yeah. troops over there, OPSEC. Okay, I'm going to advance these infiltrators. Go nine. We do need to push to the middle there, Indicius, because we do need to score that shock tactics. Uh, and we did start to pop on the table for. 
uh, tertiary. Although, to be fair, in order to tie that tertiary, all Indices has to do is shoot that one guardsman who's on the center objective. I think that was maybe... They are. He has granting obsec there, so it doesn't. It means that one infiltrator can't steal that objective back, but um, probably one of these like Devastator Stormbolters will, will pop that guy off and then score that those points you can't draw lines the troops because they don't they don't count for him he's they don't, you have to draw line sites back for artillery model. and i'm looking at the gun oh yeah sorry yeah, yeah. uh the ftc like map base is the one to use for um they are literally ignored for regular games for of uh tts 40k this composition this one's a custom but it's based on the F that's ftc map base of the correct yes okay <laughs> Maybe charge these guys and beat them up. Um, yep, so that's that. I think my guy will have to be. No, he does. So the scary thing about these Kazakhan right now is that they do they retain Lord Solar's rerolls through the next battle round. Ooh, we are moving out the Desolators. Wow. Okay. Um. So the thing to keep in mind about them is that they do full reroll hits and wounds when uh, even when overwatching and fighting in melee, which does mean that the Kazarkin sergeant's uh, little chain sword. I guess we didn't we didn't uh, upcharge for the cool power sword on that guy, but it does mean that they could do some damage. Probably not against the lieutenant, but if they. Pack in a little bit of damage on an Overwatch. They could potentially knock him out in, in the fight phase, which would be pretty problematic. He will be on the point. These guys are just... Actually, let me just move this guy first. Which is gonna... Nope, he's not going to move that one, bros. Where's your Primaga like dude? 20 inches. I'll advance my Libby. Just quick sec. Yeah, he guns far enough. And my dude, I'm. Just that way. Okay, these guys will just shuffle along this way. Like so. What the hell? Oh, that guy's with them. This guy's with them. Okay, that makes sense. That is. One, two, three, five. That makes sense. Okay. Uh. What you doing over here? will just sit there and be happy and prepare. Yeah, that's fine. So at the end of the movement phase, Techie will heal the Astraeus for two. And these guys are coming in. I guess the hope is that we shoot the Kazakin down below three. Okay. Maybe we're charging. Those right. Yep. We got nine inches from that. Well, I might get some shots and into the characters, I guess. Heal that up, psychic. We still got some but of that the nonsense. The command squad is currently getting, being character protected, but I guess if the uh, front devastators knock out the the Kazakin command squad, uh, we can shoot the rest of the shots into the like, bodyguard squad. That. There's six for that. Now that can. It is plus one. It. I will. You can't see dick. I need that CP for what? I probably need it for Google. Okay, so then you'll just cast Question of the Machine Spirit. He doesn't get it because I need to be eight or higher, I believe. Or was it seven? Give me a sec. Uh, yep, it needs to be eight. Yep, so he flubbed. That's fine. Shooting. Uh, the Astraeus will put all its little guns into the back squad. Mm -hmm. I do actually need to kill them. That's kind of a problem. Okay, 
you so that he's gonna put his uh twin macro cannon into the Lehman Gus. It's plasma cannon into the shock tubes. It's heavy stubbers into the shock tubes. It's bolters and it's heavy bolt and storm bolters into the shock tubes in front. So macro cannon, plasma cannons. Uh, heavy stub. Actually, I'll put the heavy stubbers into these guys. Mm -hmm. And heavy bolters into these guys, and I'll put the storm bolts into guys at the back. Okay. Any stats before I start shooting? No. Okay, so 12 shots into your tank. Uh, he is touching that color? Yeah, the intention was having touched it. Yet, right? He is touching it still. Okay, so he's hit on threes. Your ones. <laughs> And these wound on fours. Hmm. Okay, just three on your five up. I'm gonna under committal to the Lehman Russ here. Yeah, Takes survives on six damage. Two. Down two. The plasma into those guys. Two D six shots. I think that's all the shooting three. we have besides maybe the Primaris Tech mm, Marines. They definitely guns. did. Yeah, he does have a forge boulder, but I don't think that's going to kill it. Good, though. Six. It's possible. It's on twos and kills on twos. So that would be... Oh, wait, I get to do all that. That will hit and that will kill. So exactly eight die. Uh, is the back spawn right? Yep. Yeah, honestly, the two such weapons. Okay, then we got the storm bolter going into them. These are threes and threes. Uh, two, no AP. So what do we armor saves? Guys at the back. Mm -hmm. Alright. Good one. Now we have the doctor. Okay. All the other shots into these guys. That is six heavy bolters and a few heavy stuffers. <laughs> He's hit on twos. Those ones. Those on threes. Oof. Oh, just one at minus two. So one will die, I think. Yep. I think the other guy's in cover, so I guess I'll take one. No, one so six. one six up. Hey! <laughs> Correct, <laughs> super heavy battle tank. I will save. Okay, so oh, a little underswing there. I think we definitely should have shot the plasmas, eight, or at least eight, one of the plasmas in the Lehman Rust to confirm that kill. It's on twos. And wounds on threes. So we got, she got five, six ups. Well, five with the two guys in cover. Um. I want to use a sergeant, so I'm only taking one to kill. And then I'll just go to kill. I'll kill the rest. He is five of them. Uh, that guy will die. Kills five guys. Okay. The tech marine is going to put his heavy bolter into your tank. Three shots on twos. Don't get to reload them. Uh, no. Nope. Mm -hmm. The Lehman Russ lives. For the fun of it, I'm gonna put this guy into your tank. Is it in dark fire? Or? No, I can't see you. No, wait, I can't. Can I? Nope. There's no way. Nope, the thing's blocking you. Never mind, so you can't shoot. Okay. We're gonna do these guys next. All the indirects will go into. So I'm putting the Vengo launcher. Yeah, I put all the indirects into these guys. Yep. And all the anti-tank will go into... I can't see the tank from here. 
Yeah, I'll yeah, just it was put a good move the by Cha Cha putting the tank in that area. Basically required that the Astraeus kill it. And like we talked about before, it's a dicey profile to shoot into for the Astraeus. You did kill a lot of the obsec infantry, but leaving the tank alive is a little scary. It is a crappy ballistic skill now, though. But I think they can top bracket, right? They have a stratagem for that. Yep, so that is five on your save, except if you want to kill the sergeant. You just have to take one on your sergeant, I was not just I did. So he has the first four on the what they're not sergeant. Oh wait, you Obedient. do get six up. You get six up with the whole squad because it's indirect. So in the last guy. Yeah, we can relentless yeah, that guy sergeant. back to full full power next turn. So uh, really get another get another chance to knock out the Astraeus with the right, executioner cannon. Well, you get a six out of the whole squad, so one guy yeah. should live. So I'll just leave the melting on the ass. Okay. okay, I still got the two Bengal launchers. So. Yep, bye bye. I mean, the two Castellan yeah. launchers. Yeah. So D3 shots with the first one. Uh, that's one shot. It's on a two, wounds on a two, two. Well, three, uh, one, six up. He's alive. Next Castellan is. I guess the shot. downside here for Cha Cha is. Uh, that if he top brackets the Lehman Russ, he's uh, basically out of ammunition to fully charge the second Kazrakin team. So they're not going to have quite the same level of damage output as the original Kazrakin. Hits and twos to kill. It kills one of them. It's very much picked up. Kill the sergeant. You don't have to worry about Okay. Um, let's see. I think, I think, okay. You're devastate your son. Devastate her. That's fine. I'll put you down to last two, and those guys might. Okay, so those guys are much bracketed. Okay, let's do first devastate squad. Well, let's do the sergeant. He's going to put his pistol. In the... Yeah, I suppose. And the question is, should I kill this minion? Let's kill you down to a man then. Uh, I'm going to put the... So, let's shoot the front squad since I'm probably going to overkill you. Everything into the Kazakh again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to see if we can knock down the Kazakh again. And then put as many Devastator gunshots as we can into the Bodyguard squad. Um, we are going to be strapped on CP for Cha Cha. He'll have two to burn next turn. So if he takes them on the Ogren bodyguard, he may not have the CP to regenerate him if he wants to charge up that Kazakhan team. Although the Kazakhan team that's over here may just pop out and uh, try to nuke this Devastator squad. Maybe the Devastator squad doesn't randomly make a charge on them. If I do that, I can shoot. And with Lord Solar's rerolls, that's a pretty good shot. Okay, let's put... I have to shoot a gun if I have it, or can I pick who doesn't shoot? Mm, you just pick. It's not like, you, know, you're not, you don't have to fight. You so I'm like, just going like... to fire one grab cannon, and the rest will do nothing. <laughs> one grab cannon. It's on twos. Who's on threes? Uh, three will die. No. I could say that. Eight inch charge now. Okay. I shoot the sergeant's pistol. I think he's an eight. And then I can start shooting those guys. Yep, the sergeant's gonna put a pistol into this guy. So, sergeant has two shots. It's on twos. Okay, one hit, the wound's on a three. Damn it. Two die. Well, one dies, and one takes an armor save. Oh, it doesn't do... It's mortal, yeah. Yep. So, one thought for you. It's a good, good Neo-Volkite okay, so right dies. there. So, you're a nice right now. Blam, blam. 
bit overkill, but anyway, we'll have to just hold that. Just beams down that guy. Guess. I think, uh, well, I guess angling for the charge is probably fine. But you do need to kill the shock trooper, I think, just to ensure that you get rid of the obsec there. Because that guy's not going to run away. There wasn't more to have cannon. Well, it's. Grab cannon, that damage one, and then And then you already shared if you can't share again. Yeah, so we're. I think, uh, deciding on a. Kadia stands here. No, because no, you're it just makes them optimize one that it's not worth it. Okay, so this is Yep, these are the melt the curve. What's better to kill you? Nope, I'm gonna put it on that damn ogre, which is minus one damage. Uh and he has his save is I believe a naturally five up so grabs. Yeah, so grab doesn't do much. So I'm gonna have to put the plus one to it on the on the melter. So these are all the grab cannons. It's on two, threes, we got ones. Wounds on. Force. What's his stuff in six? He's too far. Fours on ones. Wow, good thing that lieutenant is there. Holy oh crap. That guy just saved that roll so Five much. Ouchie. Force goes on roll save. So, damage one. Four up. Here's the. Uh, uh, right. They won't trigger their grab the effect because the saving throws these guys are not good enough, but the uh, bodyguard I mean, does reduce damage huge. on him, so it's not really going to make that big of a deal. Even if he's not getting it. Yeah, it only two takes two. Shots. Does he get vaporized by melta guns? That's the real question. Both hits. And these are pleased to wound. Both wound on your four up. First one is fine. Next one is. Oh, nailed both of yeah. them. <laughs> and then I think the sergeant Oof. is just got his bolt. It's does not wound. Okay. And then cool. you have your you guys over here. Then this last bit. Yep. Okay. These guys are going. No, this should be. No, it's not. No, it has to go. Yeah. And the other arm is in. Not enough. Yeah. Not even enough. I melt it into command squad and then everything else into them. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll just dump everything into the command squad. There's no point in time going for that cabbage. Let's do the Does grabs. the melt have line of sight here? Excuse? Does the melt melt have line of sight to this command squad? Oh, yeah, it's blocked by the. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think this other lip is dead so that I can only shoot the. I can't even shoot these guys, but. but yeah. See? Yeah. You only shoot, shoot two guys. three grabs. Yeah, two grabs yeah. and then sergeant. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. So two grabs and a Lucy Goosey chats. Lucy Goosey on probably that. I think denied himself um, a melted gun shot there by putting him behind the wall. I'm not really sure why he deployed so far back either. He's moved on fours. So one on your four. Yeah. Um yeah, we're just leaving multi melta shots on the table. It's not really what we want. Uh, I'm not sure what the dice roll is. I think it's it. I saved. Okay, and save. And then just a bolt. The bolt. It's doesn't move. Okay. <laughs> so that one better than I expected for me. The power and, uh, of drawing lines. lines. Yeah, nice charge. So first up, these devastators are going to try and make it into. That Kassikin. That is a, a power that About few nine. men should possess, for sure. I'll get a nine. Don't do all that. Uh, well, if they make it, it's fine. Now I will try and reload all this. Hmm. Nope, they failed. Sergeant's so... going to go in. He fails. He's devastated. going to try going to those guys. So awkwardly denied the push to the center. Didn't shoot that one shock trooper. Uh, would have guaranteed the. Oh, made a nine inch charge here. Does it do it though? Probably should have a Eric through the wall. Yeah, you can hit that guy. Well, that's something at least. At least can tow that guy through the wall and then pile and consolidate around into melee, a glorious melee. Um. 
But denied himself the uh, tertiary unless one of these units runs away. A little awkward. Um, okay, I guess that's it. No other charge is possible. Yeah, I'll take a call. Yep, that's all. So let us do it with the punching. So we'll pile in. Pile in. Yeah, I should be able to get them all in with a half inch. I can punch to him and can half inch there and then get within an inch. Cool. Yeah. Should clip a couple of these guys. The regular Devastators aren't that good at fighting, but the Marine Sergeant is, very, is pretty good. Two for six attacks. None to these. None to these. You got three on your armor save. Two will die. Uh, we got three attacks with the hammer, hits on fours. And wounds on it. Two. One wound on your six. One more will get crumped. Crump. And then pile in. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's a fairly strong turn from the Iron Hands, but certainly could have been better. We did uh, mitigate the damage from that Kazakin team quite a bit. It's not going to be up to Lord Solar to clear those those dudes out. The Interact Fire is still online. But it's basically up to the Lehman Russ getting relentless and the remaining Sentinels to knock out the uh, Astraeus at 10 wounds, which is a tall order, but is possible. Unfortunate for Indicius, yeah, he wasn't able to knock out any of the um command squad but that's probably fine for the time being i have the opportunity to try to pile damage through on those guys this coming turn the real question is whether these earth shaker carriages are gonna what they're gonna be firing into most likely the devastators oh my god um <laughs> killed two models of the cash kid unit <laughs> what <laughs> are you serious Kazakin in the center. So, he needs to roll one to stay. I don't know if the dice is, so. Did you roll it? I don't think I could roll a dice. I think, oh, probably, I bet if I could roll a dice, it lags as much as I do. So, I have to, like, put in the box for the roll. Sorry. Um, yeah, you like, getting a little weird. lag spike here. I broke it. <laughs> um, okay. Weird. Let's go, dice box. Okay. Uh, all right. So I guess I'll do this. Yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah. The dice stuck like in my dice box. So. All right. Ooh, what was that for? Oh, that was for the dude. Sorry, the cat's again. Where are you? Going to get? He, he sticks around. Okay. Um. Oh, there's one. Oh, nice. Anyway, I can Hold see that the middle. Um, the first melty guy that's close to the objective. He's gone. So you said he runs? Yep, he's gone. And the second melty guy. guy. He's also gone. Just. So just cast some And that is all. So I get my oaf. Oh, oh, wait, it's four dice. Why did I roll four? What's this last one from? Did I... Did I... Uh, you rolled one for the Kassikan, which you passed. Oh, oh I think it's like the one I bet was the first dice, and I re-rolled I re it because it was lagging. And then, yeah, I bet the one was for Kassikan. So I rolled one for the Kassikan oh. twice. That's fine. Well, That's fine. you rolled one into one, so it's fine. Uh, so that would be I... shock tactics for me. I didn't kill anything in the center, did I? Nope. I don't, know. don't hold the yeah. center. 
So that's that. I get both for one because I killed the vehicle. Okay. Um... No, I already got that. And then I get one for because I stayed. I didn't film alone. Yeah, it should be four enough. Okay, so that is... Low scoring turn. game so far, chat, but that's kind of making um, it exciting. I'm get eight. <laughs> Um, I'll get two banners. Go the banner for the center, banner for the, my home objective. Who punched the banner in the center? Uh, the two right here. Oh, yo. Yeah, the little single oh. guy. I, I didn't see him. Yeah. Okay. He's been chilling there all game. Um, and then this one, I canceled the action because I yeah, shot. That guy we should have shot to get tertiary, I think. It's uh, <laughs> uh, starting to put down roots. Game on the Sentinels and the Earthshaker. That should score extra for boots on the ground, right? Like, because it counts as if you have like a company command squad in there with a banner, but it should also count if you have a uh, if you have an actual banner in the middle. We'll put take cover on the command squad to give them dents. So they'll get the light cover from the. Astraeus at ten, yeah. chat. Okay, one here. That looks like a good idea. First, to it's a, on a at a precarious position. Somewhere. Over. Its existence Beyonder. hangs by a knife's edge. Yeah, so, we're, gonna take out so we're basically, uh, it's up to this Lehman Russ. We're gonna see if we top bracket it. The top bracket the there it is. That's a, that's a, to where that goes. And then the Lehman Russ and the uh, armored Sentinels. Yeah, that's it for orders. And maybe the Earthshaker carriages could try to take it out. I think if they uh, don't, it runs yeah. the table from here. Sure. But uh, I think that was. I mean, still a fair uh, turn for Indicius, but he left a lot of uh, opportunities on the table. Um, didn't get to shoot with uh, his uh, Melty Melta there. over here. I think had some so missed sequence to attacks. Game. He should have, in my opinion, so should have just gone to kill everyone in the center and then shoot everything into the command squad. Uh, leaving all these individual models alive is going to make things a little bit awkward for him because he didn't score tertiary, okay, and now, now he's giving his opponent more things to score and do actions there. with. Uh, and I think maybe misallocated his shots over here. Could have killed the Lehman Russ instead of firing into the second infantry squad. Um, but it is what it is. At least he's, he's on the board for shock tactics, even though his uh, raise the banners is a little bit low, unfortunately. I guess I really need that everything forward. Actually, this is going to be a pretty. On the side wall. It's going to be a pretty exciting finish. Still have another shock trooper team. It's gonna pop out and maybe try to kill some devastators. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, these guys will fall back over here. So I think we're just gonna fall back this way, and then we'll. Uh, these guys have forty rolls because that's the only thing you get. So I'll fall back over here. They're gonna shoot your people traders real good, and then Lord Saul is gonna take care of you guys. Uh, I think that is the end of my movement phase. Uh, I guess if you guys here can do something interesting. Um, I guess he'll go. I mean, maybe tag your devastators again. Tag your own. I'll the That's like. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Uh, duty time. Oh, I guess. Sorry, we'll. And then we'll touch the. Here, let's touch the guys onto the. Right, and so we get the full objective here. Do have to pick this one up? Okay. Um, like that. Look at look at that. Like little. Look at this wonderful. Okay. Um. about being fun. All right. Uh. Okay. So we'll spend the uh, do that. Do that. that. All right. So, second phase, we're going to do warp, and I believe we are kind of, we should be out of range of your dude. No, you do. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, because if I touch the objective, I'm in range. If I don't touch the objective, I'm out of range. Yep. Uh, I have to choose it. Uh, yeah, we won't, we won't have subjective then, because I don't want to yep. get... I think War Patrol is more important right now than this primary, this objective. So, he'll come back. Yeah. Anyway, uh, casting it on... Oh, I guess we touched it. <laughs> That's 11. Yep. That's okay. Go ahead. One point three. One point three. 
Good start. Ticking up the secondary score. Okay. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, shoot us. So the awkward part now is that if... Um, I mean, Indicius is in a good position just forcing his opponent to split as many attacks as he can. Uh, they uh, right now it appears that, you know... Oh, okay. Cha-Cha could fire at his damage dealers, like the uh, Devastators, the Desolators, or the Astraeus. Right. But that means it's less shots going into the Infiltrators, and that means the Infiltrators are going to be holding down these objectives and potentially threatening a uh, big 12-point primary swing, which would be huge. And does he live? He does. Okay. So that guy will die, and this guy will take a wound. Uh, and then, sorry, we have to check, but I refund the CP from the Stratus, so I have to pop back the tank. Nope. It's okay. not feeling refundable today. Uh, we'll start with the armored sentinels. Are going to shoot your restraints. Okay. So they are ignoring your minus one damage in the panel pain group. Yep. Five shots. Okay. So on threes, no rerolls on this one. Overcharge. Take a mortal, and then on four, it's rerolling one. We are minus four or minus three. Yep. Minus three, so three five ups. Minus it's minus four, minus four, because they've taken. But I guess it didn't matter. So. Two four six, we take six. Ooh, okay, let's go again. It should kill the stress with the other tank. Should, or should. He might have to sacrifice himself because I'm going to probably overcharge him. But you will see once he dies. But I'm sacrificing more to make that. Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll do the command squad. We'll shoot. They'll just throw some hot shots at the devastators. Is there? Yeah, with the ripper gun. And then should they shoot their last guns at the infiltrators over here? Or blocker dealers. Okay. okay. You are taking a negative one. Ogren, he hits on a people skill four. This is the Ogren into your devastator, so. Uh, and then he was on three. Uh, this is in devastators. Yes. Uh, that guy's got cover, and this is minus. EP two damage two. EP two, so these are one, so four, and two damage. One guy will die, which is this guy. Okay, so then we have one, two guys with melt the guns. Sorry, las guns. So, uh, hits you on fours. Sorry, five, just because we the dense. Yep, dense. Uh, need a hit. Good talk. Um, yeah, it's just Lehman Russ now. Uh, he's just going to sacrifice himself by overcharging his gun into the Astraeus. Okay. So, number of shots is. Brave tank commander right here. Not actually a tank commander, yeah, but the commander the of the Lehman Russ. Eight shots. Going, going ham. Yeah, this guy needs to die. If he doesn't die, I lose the... Well, you take a wound. Yeah. Okay, I don't die. Look at Um, And then we hit you with our top bracket, so we hit on threes. We got fourth. All right, I should kill you. Yep, that's true. Yep, he did. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's given what's that? Two, four, six, eight, ten damage. Yeah, well, we just should have happened. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see that piano pain. Oh, I still can see it coming. Right. Yeah. No. Nope, he definitely goes. And the Australia goes down. All right. Does he explode? Please don't. Yeah, thank God. Oh. <laughs> that would have been very funny. Yeah, well, he's a D6 with two D6 games, so he might have taken you that actually does leave me. Um, yeah, the Sentinels okay. have already got other guns. So that's, that's good. Next. So that's Sentinels. So really, it's just the Kazakhan over here. That's our fault with the four wheels. And then we have the the Earthshakers. Uh, so I'll put spend the one CP for mortals on these Kazakhan. And let's go throw everything at the So a big mistake there from Indicius is not coordinating so, the fire into the Limit Rust to kill it. I believe that we're gonna probably have. Might have swung the game there, chats, because we do have. Uh, 
So now, no, the Astro Militarum in the yeah. attritional lead and the uh, victory the point lead, points. but we we will see how many yeah. points. Here, uh, and Odysseus yes. can is score oh, right now. This is Waller so, Elite. No, Heirloom Weapons. Yeah, now for where you go. Okay, so this is the special weapons. Yeah. Uh, Morals on just sixes, not on five, because they don't want to be for both threats. There's one mortal so far. And we roll 15 hits. Um, so we're probably just going to reroll. These are reading on four because they're strength four. So what does we roll the. Actually, these all hit you because yep. there's no minuses to hit. No these are you know, heavies, so they're right fire. Uh, we'll just roll to wound now. Or they're hitting on threes. I'll just fish for sixes. Yeah, we'll do it. Fish for sixes on yeah, the edge. Six. Okay, the one on six, six lose to you. Mm. Oh, I don't write that anymore. And it wounds you on fours. Real fail the wound. Okay, okay. So... that's four mortals and then. Do one damage. So damage is AP two. Ah uh, yes. Okay, so AP two damage ups. one. So five up. Fine. Uh, how much? One. Five. Okay, so four more. Mm, that's five up. Okay, the corn to eat it. Five up. Uh, yep. So that's one, two corn. So there's three more to do. Okay, so that means I take three normals. These will be six of your no pains with all of it. How many mortals did to me? Like four? There's, I still have a, two more guns left. No, but I'm just how many mortals did you deal with me? Deal with uh, me? Four so far. Okay, so I will take, so one guy will die. Because of the few, no wait, not that guy. This guy. Yeah, off you go. And you got your sniper shot. And then we have the. Wait, the range right strike now? by one, so two shots from the normal gun. Re roll everything. Oh, so one hit. And then. Uh, one wound, wounds on five. So two wounds. Okay. And two on fives. They're fine. And one six up here on the pain. Oh, well, he takes either one, so this guy will take a wound. And then we have the... Then we have the sniper rifle now. Okay, so that hits. Doesn't do mortal. I'll just wound. Roll the wound. It wounds and does mortal. So we would have to technically... This guy's mortal. Uh, you can see messed up by doing the mortals in the... Because this does... Meh. This is a three damage gun. And so does two mortals. Is... This is AP2, so it's a 5 up. So you save it. And then, save it's it, so fine. we don't worry about the. And the the mortal just kills him. No, wait, might kill him. 6 up, you're no pain. It's 2. Up. And then it's one more from the strap. One from the strap. Oh, okay. The strap. okay, so yeah, it will. You will die, and let's go take a. No, not that guy. Let's go take a. Okay. Oh, let's go next. Well, I think it's, they're just outside the rule. Save that save, it didn't necessarily matter. Only 6 um, from the bodyguard. Then, you just got your Chica and these buggers. Yes. Okay, so you have Desolation Marines. Okay, oh, yeah, so he's going to shoot your Desolation Marines. As you wish. No, that's two shots. Are these special weapon? No, so there's two shots. Normal. So one wound minus two. I stole a wound. Got... Oh, sorry. oh, it was a six? Sorry. Yeah, it was a six. All right. Uh, so minus two, five up. He's fine. So devs, I really figure out where they're shooting now because it's gonna be important. So I can try, probably want to knock you off one of these objectives here. Put Earthshaker into the wounded squad to take that objective, and then put two. You have two guys open squads. One has four guys. One has five guys, right? Yep. This, this is a four, and that's a five at the back. Um, they, you have one guy that has cover here, and the rest are just going to be on sixes? Yep. Okay. Well, you can't see me, so I'll be on fives. It's, it's good, goes, it's AP4, it goes to AP3. Oh yeah, so it goes to six. Yeah. Okay, so I think we are going to split a little bit, because, uh, so we'll put one into the squad here on this objective. Okay. 
I'll put one into the Desolation Marines, okay. and I'll put one into the four man. Okay. I will transhuman the uh, input characters. Uh, it goes into the operators. Uh, ten drops. Ten. I thought you had one. Oh, sorry. Seven, 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 seven. So, um, I sorry, I did math. I did the did the math wrong. Um, uh, I think I can just see you normally. So we are getting dense. We are not taking it indirect. Where is the so seven? Wait, the freaking oh yeah, well oh, it's just dense, so it's fours. Yeah. Yeah, big, big long barrel. Um, okay, so oh, it's still fours, I believe. So fours, yeah, fours. it's fours. It just means that any conversion is instantly kills because okay, it's well, that, well, one guy might die. Uh, what I roll? Oh, I roll one whole bar. Okay, a whole bunch um, of twos and four. Nope. Oh, that's one. oh well. So you get twelve, but. That's annoying. Into the pistols. Um, yes. These are four. That's a big whiff right there. As the players just discussed, four into two. Going to lock in the Indicius' controller. So these are Gives him the opportunity to drop a uh, okay, banner if he wants to. Pain. But he may need the extra One's shots dead. to kill the Kazakin here. Up. And six up the pain. Two dead. Okay. They are dead. Alright, and it's the one into the four man four man devastator squad. Yep. It, ooh, eight shots. Uh you can see me fine, so I'm gonna go ahead. Mm. Uh and then Okay, that is five. So one guy takes five, so the rest will take sixes. That is five. Oh, oh. Five up. Okay. Just get dice. Six up to no pain. He's dead. Next guy. Dead. Six up to no pain. He's alive. Next guy. Six up. Impossible. Fails. He's dead. So two dead so far. So I've rolled three. And then next up, six up, nope, oh, six up, gonna pain, nope, completely dead, six up, nope, six up, gonna pain, alive, so two die, I think I got one more, six up, nope, six up, gonna pain, yep, so three die, so who do I want to keep? That was the four man squad, my friend. The four man squad? Oh, yeah, okay. the so then, uh, didn't you shoot the guys at the back? Oh, wait. No, I, I, I just said the four. four. Oh, well, then that guy would have to take the cover. So, yeah, so these guys have to die, and then that guy will be alive. Cool. Um, so that is the end of my shooting phase. Um, I guess this guy will shoot and melt out your lieutenant. Because why not? It's kind of funny. Okay. Or it's probably better to shoot the devs there. So he'll shoot the devs there. Okay. I'm shooting the dev boys. It's on a four. It hits. Wins on a two. Uh, damage. A little punch right through. Uh, alright. That's gonna be d6. One for one. one. <laughs> that guy thought. Work? He thought. He thought he could get that devastator. Um. We we do have so the Indominus. That is basically it for me then. I can't. Lieutenant I don't body have any here. Charges. I don't have any. Shield in the relic blade. This guy's gonna start running the table a little bit, but I do think we are looking pretty locked in for Commander Cha Cha. I think that he has enough remaining on the table now that the Astraeus has been kaput. That I don't know if uh, Indicius is gonna be able to come back with just five devastators. Oh well, actually, we'll see what we can do with the. Uh, Lord Solar. I assume Lord Solar kills two uh, Devastator Marines, but we'll find out. Yeah, so we'll he should. Be... His uh, damage yeah, output is certainly enough in melee to do so. But we'll see if he actually does it. Please. 
Right, so yeah, sorry. Um, um, on twos and then on threes. Yep. Okay. Um, go ahead. Four wounds, four six ups. Yeah, fuck. Okay, let's see how much of this I can block. Okay, so first one will be dead. Dead and dead. Okay, they're dead. With okay. Um, um, so the shell here doesn't. I guess he'll consolidate this way so he can walk around the building next turn. I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's basically it. Okay, so scoring for me. Um, I believe everything is in range of officers at the correct distance. Yep, so we're gonna get a five point inflexible. We already get warp, we already got banners. We'll get two play control the center objective. And there you are. Oh. Yeah, so you're gonna need 12. These guys are just gonna walk over you. Right behind the wall. Raise a bear. Yep. Drop in that banner. So I think we've kind of traded positions now. Previously it was the Astraeus looking to run the table, but now I think it might be the Slim and Russ. We don't have great opportunities to kill it. The Primaris Tech Marine could attempt, I but I don't believe that we have any possible maneuvering for the Devastators. And unfortunately, these Devastators are kind of keeping Indicius in the... Oh, we could smite it! Ah, we have the Librarian, of course! I think the Librarian might get it. Fair enough. The infiltrators will protect the characters as much as possible. Oh, and the last Devastator runs away. That's unfortunate. So we're up to the, it's up to the Primaris Lieutenant. <laughs> he can go in, shoot one of these guys to death, charge the other one and kill him. We can kill the Lehman Russ battle tank, score our shock tactics. Uh, start putting banners down, but those banners might not be long for this world. And tick up a bunch on O's at the moment. If we kill the tank, unfortunately we fell back, or we, we uh, failed a leadership check this turn, so... Gonna be locked in on one for O's at the moment. More if we can get the lieutenant in there. So we could go up to seven on O's at the moment. So score seven points this turn, up to 41. But that zero, that big zip on banners is really killer right now. And I almost wonder if uh, Indicius, oh, he doesn't have too many strats to use. He could hold his command point for the morale, or uh, for the psychic phase to try to souls of iron a warp ritual this coming turn. If he does so, he actually locks Commander Chacha down to a seven on warp ritual, assuming he gets it the, the next turn as well. He's going to smite. Okay, here comes the smite. This is a big one. He is not. No deny. Please don't perils. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> there it is. Doesn't he just dies? Get out of here. Yep. So we explode. We don't. So I will spend a CP to shoot on death. The question mark. Is it worth it? They're trying to see what we can shoot the lieutenant. Well, basically, he needs one CP to try to kill a character. Yeah. No. So I could go with the Yilters here, but I don't clear them because you have the heat like I am D6 plus three. Uh. Just to make so your think... just to make your decision easier, you can't use vengeful salute in the psychic phase. Oh, you're right. Never mind. This is not the game. I, was, I thought that was the case. <laughs> I forgot the psychic phase existed. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, so then that's that. totally <laughs> fair. Point. You're like, what? That was a psychic ranged attack, right? That's that's, that's, that's what happened. Did so, they be there? <laughs> yep. That's that the psychic. I'll just cast my plus one armor to help my guy survive. He fails it. Okay, that's fine. He did his job. Okay, let's get on to the shooting. So... The Tech Marine's going to shoot into... These guys. Into which guys, Your Cadian shock that's, things. The shock troops, okay. okay. Hits on... Please, because I can see this guy. I can't see that guy, but... Does he have range? 
heavy bolter. It's a, it's a forge bolter. Oh, it's a forge bolt. Never mind. It's a little baby heavy bolter. Yeah, so only can shoot these guys. Uh, is he, they have like a certain uh, close unit, so. <laughs> no, they're not close to units. Oh, uh, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> so I guess he's going to do dick. Uh, and, there might be some 10th edition haters for sure. So I think that we could see some bailouts. But we saw that season one. Although a lot of people played in the Invitational and then kind of bailed afterwards. Gets with both. And just kills him with a mortal. All right. So we're we're on we're on the these board for tertiary finally. These grabs. And then Lieutenant Let's can clear out the banner in the middle too to, to keep down that uh, score. Only two grabs can see these Kassikans. Mm -hmm. And if those two are going to shoot up there, these two are going to shoot into your command squad. You can't because they're you have to shoot the Kassikan guy here. Ah right, damn it! Okay, so I'll shoot the. Gotta. Oh, you gotta get to the middle there. You gotta yeah, bring I'll that shoot, banner. Um, grab into these guys at the back. And then the Nalto. The Nalto ain't gonna do nothing. Cool. I fired it. No, I, did, I did fire the Nalto from that squad. <laughs> I don't even remember if I did. Okay, so four shots into Kassikan boys over there. I will give the grab. Yeah, we're at the position where they... Last time because it, it didn't have... It only didn't have range of command squad and... Sorry, it had range of command squad, but I couldn't see them, remember? Okay. So eight shots into... We're at the He's point nice. where that grav cannon is much more valuable than that yeah. multi melt This guy stuck hits. with the multi melt is unfortunately oh, not super useful. No ones. These will hit on fours. No ones. Okay, these will on threes. Okay, so three will die. Yeah. Those leaves. Almost clips. I'll leave a special weapon. The Kazakhan squad with the grav. Oh, is that all that can shoot into them, right? Yeah, that's all that can shoot into them. I'll leave this guy in the front that can touch the objective. So that I can make him off sec. And blink that objective. Mm -hmm. yeah, another misposition, I think, on Odysseus' part. He only has one infiltrator on the objective. So Lord Solar ordering the Kazrakin to be objective secured will contest it. At least it, he'll keep a banner for a turn, which is good. Please go on. Assuming that the infiltrators don't die to the airshaker carriages, which I think are gonna start dominating this late game. Actually, I can't do that because kill stalker. I'll kill this game. And that is that on the charges. He's charging them. Yay! Hot damn! I'm coming right over here. What's his profile? It's five packs, right? Five. That is a yep, hokey <laughs> 3D scan. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Get out of here, Kazik, indeed. Pause it this way. And that is the, point. the Primaris Lieutenant. Scoring that point, scoring Ghost of Moment, scoring Shock Tactics. Let's go! Big money. Wow, this has been a hell of a game, actually, chat. I do think Odysseus is uh, hurting himself a little bit with some positioning mistakes, but he has really dominated primary objective scoring. Uh, this this lack of banner score is killing him, too. Uh, I guess uh, maybe he had his lieutenant off it on turn one or something, didn't place a banner on the, on the objective. It's another little mistake. And then we'll basically hope to shoot you off it. Alright. You would have to advance to get there. Yeah, so banners go up here. I'm pretty sure you don't count as stationary. He's gone again. What on are we on? <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely hoping for a flub turn on the gun carriages, for sure. Um, I think if 
if it was maybe just the gun carriages, it would be okay. But it's also the gun carriages and these scout sentinels. Right, cool. So we're going to start. We're going to do that. We're going to give this guy. Suddenly they look um, pretty good. Yeah, we'll give him optic. So we'll give, give him optic. So he just touches the point and takes it. So if one guy lives here, then you can't continue controlling it. Um, and then, yeah, besides that, it's take aim and everything because there's no other orders I can do. But it's very useful. We are um, almost neck and neck, time. chat. Let's see. He goes four and goes. 44, 45. Eight here. Was the Astraeus the, uh, the missing seven. link we were waiting for this He's whole time to actually just beat? <laughs> so that would work pretty well. Um, I, to, uh, keep the hands all this I think that uh take it back. It it is likely you know, you that right? Astro Militarum get out of this game, but I think that so Indicius could have made it way really harder. Try to kill you. Yeah, and flexible command incredible trauma for sure. Right? And, and that warp ritual yeah. looks like it's gonna take up as well. And Indicius, uh, yeah. I think messing well, up his come in. shoot you charge banners, unfortunately. We'll see. Oh, just like that. Uh, this optic squad is gonna chill here. Push up. Um, they don't have morale because they had leadership. Sorry, wait. They could run on a six because leadership eight. They lost three, so let me run that real quick. Very good. Yeah, um, and the sentinels are gonna push up. This way, so they can just shoot these devastators and clear them off, and then that would basically mean, like, basically mean the only thing you have left is your characters and your other stuff. What is it? Your characters and your infantry players should be fine. Okay, so you can draw this guy without drawing. You draw from this guy without going against because. Then... All right, cool. I believe that is the end of my movement phase. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on to shooting. We'll start with these guys here, because if I do anything silly, I can make myself out. I'll start seeing the dev devastators. Uh, overcharged. You ignore feel no pains, right? Yes, I do ignore the pain right now. Okay. Okay, I roll two dice. Four. Uh, oh. This lag is going to be the end of me. All right. Okay, four shots. On three is overcharged. Ooh, okay, so AP4. <laughs> so on what a shot. Three lethal hits. You, thanks to Born taking. Soldiers. Taking, yes. Taking is plus on AP and plus on here. So. But that's on your infantry. Oh, it's on core stuff, isn't it? It's on platoon, which Sentinels have every keyword in the guard book. They can get okay. the tank orders, they can get infantry orders, so they can get... Four becomes order. minus three, so these are five ups on the guys in front. So... Leave uh, ups. Should we six ups? Because it's minus three is safe. Save, save. That uh, is correct. Oh yeah, we got minus four. Okay, so three might die. Uh, no feeling pain, so three do die. Yeah. So... Uh, we're gonna pull you out of range. So... We will probably got to pull our multi melter here. That guy's not doing too much. Oh, going to keep the multi melter. All right, fair enough. All right, uh, we'll shoot the troop squad next. They'll shoot their one plasma gun. And then their. Uh, they'll shoot all their last guns at the other squad. Try to put the heat, proc, proc the helix. Okay. All right, so. Um, wait, are we. Can we see. Him? I think we are blocked by that. Yeah, we're blocked by that. I don't think, so. I don't think Meltigan can see you, unfortunately. So, yeah. Meltigan does not shoot. Anyway, single overcharge plasma gun, because we are going ones from the officer standing there. It's on a two. AP4. Okay, yeah. AP4. Five up. Nope, that guy will die. And then there's the seven las guns. So wait, we lost three guys, so it's four las guns, and yeah, four las guns, and then two auto guns into the infiltrators. Um, Easy on fours. 
we go into the dents. And then when you go on a... Should be a three, so just one. Yep. And this one explodes, so I have to roll again as well. Uh, just one. Oh, minus... No, Not... I'm good. Okay. Alright, so that leaves just my command squad. It's going to shoot everything at the lieutenant. Yep. Melt again. Misses. Um, a ripper gun. Two hits. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, do you mind if I do war patrol? Because I, I declare my intent to like, put Sky right here. Yeah, go ahead. Work. Yep, I feel like it's too. Because I'm Ten to my. Nope, you have it. Yeah, two CP. Do you see a four plus here? One wound's on a three with the Oh, I might have uh, four two plus that. Uh, AP two damage too. I guess we're we're saving Ooh, it for defensive chats. I'm kind of by those things, so I get the on the no, two uh, up. Our shaker shots. One up, minus one or minus two. But that's a lot minus of points. Two. So these are three ups. Uh, you is... do not ignore your funeral paint. Then, yep, so I do not. He takes two. And then was it one las piss this guy the one las gun, two las gun, three las gun, one las one bolt pistol. Okay, so the bolt pistol. It's on a three because it's character. Wound you on a four. Doesn't wound. And then we have six shots from the las guns. This is a fight of the century here, chat. Then we'll pass. Can this primary have the face the other and then our shakers. Okay, so these are hitting you on fours, two auto wounds, and then wound you on five. So two AP, nothing. He's fine. Next, because he has the sh- he has the shield to to take. He has armor shield, so he's a two up yeah. effectively. All right, cool, cool. Um, all right, so I think it's just shooting with Lord Solar. He'll shoot the infiltrators. Uh, twos. One hit. One hit. And a three. Nope. Okay, so that's that. Just charges. Uh, my air shakers. <laughs> yeah. Gonna fire the artillery. One hour station into the devastator marine. Oh shit! Again. <laughs> um, to knock you off that objective, and then we'll do. That's a very. You guys saw the helix, so we'll do one into the infiltrators, and then one. Basically, we'll do one to each each remaining squad that's not a character. Dang! Yep. He remembered to shoot his four hundred point artillery unit. <laughs> uh, sorry, wait, no, we'll split. Uh, Almost one got devastator, him. one to lieutenant, one to infiltrators. That's the, the kind of mind games that make you. Uh... <laughs> Super strong, forty <laughs> k player. That's what gets them. Uh, infiltrators first. Eight shots. Can't see them, so and we're going over dense. So we're hitting anyone fives. Oh, Nothing. Ah, of course. And then, uh, excuse me, send the CP. Doesn't do anything. Um, and then one into the tent. Ooh. Okay, so that's nine shots. Um, fours. Okay. Fast overkill here, I think. Two sets, eight saves. Well, you barely did. This was a Devastator, right? Uh, this is the Lieutenant. No, the Lieutenant. Ah, oh, damn it, these are different. Uh, okay, so that is... So that's four saves. Okay, so these are two damage each. So eight. So we can pass them. You fire into the lieutenant? Nope, he did. Um, and then the one, this is the one to the devastator. On a. Okay, fine, it drops again. Oof. It's a lot and of DACA. The one, there's no dense here, so it's. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a good one. We were hoping that we'd for uh, I think uh, Indicius was hoping for a flub here on the Earthshaker carriages, but that's not what we got. We got a absolute Chad shot from these guys. I think minus four because minus three. Yep, so three to five ups. Yeah, fuck it up. We did. Now well, let's see. Six up in the paint might come in. Nope, he did. That six up and then that damage or uh, field no pain is feels like a, a real hopium, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, maybe I've got something here. Hold up. That's a fail. I do have a CP though, so I'm worth to roll that. The six will do. All right, so we'll tag. Get in here. Hang. I think I don't. I can't touch the objective because you're there in the way. So it doesn't matter what I do. I'm just gonna swing at you now. Yeah, I'm spending one CP for Tajiman. Good. So goes for three supports. So I probably don't kill you with the helix and with the human. So who's? And then fours. Okay. Maybe. Four saves. Yeah, so he's a minus three, so five ups. Come on, please. Six ups, right? And you don't get covered. That's not how math works. Oh, anyway. yeah, five, six ups. So I really need this. So six up. Okay, that gets negated. Six up. Uh, okay, so that might kill one. One's dead. Six up. Gotta make one of these. Yep. Between this and the. Feel no pain. We gotta make one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's good but I think so that's gonna put Lord Solar on the objective, maybe. Then next one is a six up. And oh, my last uh, shot up again. Show. Yeah, it looks like we lost him. Oh, grief. Okay, yep. Pause. Not too think good for me. I don't think I can actually win now. Oh my god, that's still well, well anyway. <laughs> I took one uh, um, fucking did this game might have actually been good. I'm not sure that uh it, it is entirely been guard's fault here. Um so, just lost our guard player momentarily. We'll see if we can get him back in a back. sec. How are we feeling, chats? This has been a great game, actually. It does look like guard has it in the bag. Uh, and DC is still going to score primary, but I think... Uh, well, guys, I got disconnected because my internet went out. I'm loading back in. Yep. Uh, That's okay. uh, Militar, I'm looking like they are... Um, Gonna start scoring 12s. Unfortunately, this drop pod's not in this objective back here. That would be pretty useful. But it's uh, landed where it's landed. I had to go there in order to get the Devastators out in the correct place. So you rolled the Feeling Pains on. Did you save the last one? Yeah, I got. The last guy might die if I rolled uh, two sixes. Alright, cool. Um. Yeah, I think, I mean, their secondaries could do a little bit of a work, you know, reworking, but it's okay. Yeah, again, this is uh, not going to be a format that exists for much longer. Mm. So it doesn't matter so much. Not quite so for some reason. They do score a little, a little highly, I think, but... I'm that's sure probably I'm fine. Like, I'm bad. I, I yeah, do I'm think that they... Like, they they're kind of on the edge oh, where a lot of um, ranged factions, like primarily ranged factions are, where they're on the edge of potentially being made irrelevant by nerfing their scoring too much because they're not good at holding the midboard. They're good at pushing the midboard because they can push infantry squads, but they're not good at holding it outside of their command squads. Um, and the the... So their primary game is is decent but not good. The problem is that their second game is unparalleled. They have the best second secondary game in the entire format. They are good at tabling. That is true. 
But if you table your opponent but don't score any secondary points, then you probably lose. But in this case, they table your opponent while scoring 45 secondaries. And really, the problem is primary, but it's not that big of an issue. That's that's They can overcome that with uh, damage output. Mr. Cha-Cha, where you at? Come back, please! We need you to finish this game. Alright, so I'm connecting. I do think that, um, like I mentioned, I think Indicius is kind of suffering from misplays here. Just taking up Abandoned Sanctuaries right now. He should have. He didn't score battle round one or two. He should have scored two last battle round, maybe um, three. You have three out of Bandit Sanctuaries, right? Yeah, it's cool. I killed the guy in the center. Last one, so I would kill him. Yeah, he should, I, Oh, wait, three. Sorry, it's three, not. Two if you control center, or kill, and then three if you get both. Yeah, and you got yeah, both last turn. Yeah. And then I would also get both this turn. Huh. It's weird to sit out let me join at all. That's real weird. Okay. Um, I don't think there's a way for me to really win this. Next turn, you get 12. And that's yeah, game. Honestly, here, I'm just going to look at Trevi's stream and we probably just talk this out. <laughs> um, <laughs> can, basically, what are you well, going to do with just, your stuff? You're gonna... Let me just roll my two sixes to see if this guy yeah. dies, then I might. Oh, nope, he did. No okay, so he dies. So that means look, I can only contest that thing. So I'll get two banners this turn. Mm -hmm. I'll get another banner get two next banners. turn. And then... that next turn, you get 12 no matter what, because I can't pull you off of. Yeah. The center and that side because I can't shoot you or put you. So we want to roll two dice to see if he gets it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, Trevi, you're my war patrol. All right, here we go. Um, on a seven. No deny. It's on a four. Bad yeah. <laughs> I'll spend my CP to deny it just for the fun of it. Okay, oh. so seven, seven. Nope, you get it. So I get a 12 on warp. You get a 12 on warp, so... And flexible maxes. Go. Yeah, that maxes. This will go... One more turn, actually. So you go up to... Seven. Well, yeah. Two. And as and you then... get one... Two banners. I'm assuming you want to raise one in the center. So you go up to... Yeah, I would have Kazakin raise a banner if you don't kill him. And then I would have the troops got raise a banner in the center as well. On turn... Well, so this one turn start... five. This turn he's going to survive, so he's not going to be able to drop a banner. Which guy's not going No, because I contest that you can't put a banner on. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, I was get a... So that... Oh, wait, I get two I should get a seven well. if I raise a... If the troops raise... Right, so, no, if the troops walk to the center and raise a banner, I should get a seven on banners, right? Yeah, so that you get seven on banners. Yep. I can get four. Mm-hmm. And then next turn, I don't think I can do anything. I can swing it. This guy cannot. Um, uh, not really. They can hide there. These guys can't make it to that, so they're getting themselves killed. The oaf I'll get for one. They're not running away, and that's about it. Yeah, and then I believe for scoring, I would also get a. Three points on a Band Sanctuary this turn, and then two points next turn. That'll be four. Yeah, so that's seven for the Abandon, so... I think that's the score, Trevor. Uh, on a Band Sanctuary, I get, I get a three and a two as well, so... Yeah, put it in already. Because you got four plus, so it'll be nine. Yeah, nine in total. Well, it wasn't scored... Uh, it was two, two, three yeah. this turn. Yeah, that looks, that, that two, looks right. 
two, two, three, and then this one. Okay. Two. two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Contempt it came. I need in this damn turn. Yeah. It looked. For... Oh, it's still up again, so I can I can rejoin now. Um, after we talked it all through. <laughs> That's fine. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be anything I can do to score more than that. I don't think there's anything you can do to score more than that as well. It's like, yeah, that Contempt really needed to kill those Sentinels, but he flopped quite badly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I thought I had lost the game when, like, I did, like, 10 wounds to the Strays and turn one and didn't do anything else. Yeah, and then, I, really I don't know. I really should have put down that bloody tank. Mm -hmm. And probably... Yeah. Him, and I, you should, I, I think, think splitting fire. fire with the plasma was a mistake because if you put all the plasma to him, he would have died. And he, yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to contest that. Um, you would have been too close to that objective next turn, so then I wouldn't be able to take it from you. I needed to keep the infiltrators to get onto the point, yeah. And hold it. But, but I think I should have put the desolators out here and shot them into your Sorry. The anti tank rounds into the sentinels to put them down, yeah, but anyway. Because uh, if you sh if you don't even if you don't if you kill the tank then and you what is it then you have another round of the Astraeus walking around because I wouldn't have killed it with the tank it was just the it's ten months. You know, good game, not a bad one. <sighs> the final yeah. Ninth game. Yeah, this is my fi oh, last game of guard. Thank God, I don't have to fucking play with knights. I mean, um, uh, the guard and that stupid banner. That didn't took negated a lot of freaking saves. <laughs> yeah, it was basically like plus one point two damage on all of the plasma cannons, right? Yeah, it goes. Good. It took away my minus one damage and it took away my funeral pain. Yeah, which is it basically gives me a shot in going stress because otherwise I just I it's real hard for me to touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Anyway, good game. Yeah. Cheers, guys. I enjoyed it. Yeah. See you in 10th. Yeah, See that was a 10th. good one. Cheers. Have a good one, guys. All right, everybody. Woof. That was an actual, that was a, a, a pretty sweet game, honestly. I think it, it sort of snowballed at the end there, but I think uh, round three could have swung either way. Bottom of two, top of three. If one of those goes slightly differently, the game snowballs in the other direction pretty hard. And uh, I think that was pretty good. Yeah, you, <laughs> you get your inky money <laughs> for sure. Uh, all right, chat. We'll go raiding. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be live tomorrow. It depends entirely on my schedule. I might do some 10th edition games. Uh, and I don't know when the last pod 25 game is scheduled. But we'll have that one figured out. At some point in the not too distant future. Anyway, chat. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and hanging out. Um, if you haven't go, go and see my video today, uh, I spent a lot of time on it. That one took me about three days to work out. So um, I would appreciate if you check out looked at my terrain video. Um, thanks everyone. I'll see you next time and have a good one.